Okay. Forgot to start the recording. Er, we're on now. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you turn me down a little bit? Uh, yeah, I turned desktop audio down a little bit. Oh, hold on. I, I should have done that through Discord, shouldn't I? Uh, that doesn't really matter. It would turn down the game as well, but... Can you not hear me? Can you barely hear me over the game audio? Uh, I can hear you. You're a little bit quieter compared to us. You can turn desktop down a little bit more, probably like minus four. Okay. Sorry, this sounds weird because I'm probably like talking over you. I'm trying to like, uh, I have Discord muted so I can hear the stream audio directly. All right, all right, all right. Uh, how about now? Uh, I think that sounds about good. Okay, cool. Now you can unmute yourself now. You turn yourself up very slightly if you can, like two. All right, how about now? That sounds good. All right, awesome. That's a good spot. All right, Jack and Daxter. Jack and Daxter, let's do it. Hopefully gonna finish the game today. I, I anticipate. We've got two levels left at a boss, and we need uh, some number of eggs, things, orbs. Okay. Uh, I for and also, I forgot to, uh, to shut off certain programs. So this is the big scaffolding chamber, and if we wanted to exit the cave, we could go back across those bouncy spider platforms. Yeah. Come back here later. Which, if we go to the snow level, I know in the snow level there is a thing to activate all of the yellow eco fountains. Of which there are some on this level. But maybe we don't have to come back here at all. The spider caves kind of suck. Yeah. I'd rather... I'd honestly rather read Twilight than, uh, than deal with Spider Cave. Oh shit. Wait, hold on. I gotta got actually spin. Spin to win! Why am I fighting? I'm, I need to. I need to break that habit of fighting things, fighting everything I see. I remember if there's ever any kind of level up system in Jack games. It's been a long time since I played two or three. That there's no up. reason to do it in this one. That was the best addition to Ratchet and Clank was the weapon leveling. Yeah. Any game that has like a has a decent. Uh, Leveling system is a game that uh, that I like. As I mentioned, I just went through the first game here. mostly just whapping me with my wrench. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. Fuck you. Oh, hello. There's a thing. You must brave the deadly spider caves. Thank you, Dex. Once again, as with previous streams, in order to help it run better, Jack is not streaming video. I am watching on the stream, so I'm probably yes. five, ten seconds delayed. Which is, this is probably, I want to say, I, I, I want to say, wait. You think, you think, uh, you think, uh, you think Parsec will work? No. It, it runs about the same as streaming on Discord, so it would also log down your system. I am... I, I would be hesitant to start Jack 2 or 3 until we, like, upgrade, because they're even more populous than this game is. Yeah, they, may, I don't know, maybe... maybe they're... So they're optimized more, being later in the PS2's life cycle, but still... I, I guess see how they run. I think I tried several of the Ratchet games and the uh, high systems I want to play. Wait, where? Where am I? Uh, it, you turn around. Yeah. Go 
just letting it go. The way you're going, yeah, away from the scaffolding is the exit. Those drill fuckers are annoying. I think this is the way to the exit. God, I, I don't even fucking know. Lost in the spider caves. So, uh, so there's this uh, RPG called uh, Avernum, uh, made by Spiderweb Software. Shit. Uh, the vocal guys actually, they're they're from, they're based in Seattle, and yeah. uh, there's like a lot in the series. It's like a old school uh, console RPG, uh, and occasionally you go into spider caves, but they're not just ordinary spiders. No, they're a species known as the incredibly friendly spider. And they, they were all like, hi, I'm Spider! I'm Spidey the Spider! Yeah, they're all very, uh, they're all very friendly spiders, and the game treats them as, like, an annoying nuisance. Which, yeah. I don't know why, they're, they're friendly spiders. You, Are they still wanna... trying to eat people, though? They're no! Friendly about it? No, they just eat bugs. Uh. Hi, I... They all have the name Spider. <laughs> it's, it's just, hi, I'm Spider, this is my friend, Spider. That's like trying to make someone the antagonist of your series, but making her much too likable to be an antagonist. Yeah, that happened. Why, why would you do that? <laughs> You're not trying to make a point. It's just, hey, we're unlikable. Why? Because he's, he's the antagonist. Why? Because he's the antagonist. Because the author said so. Even though, you know, we're friendly and nice. It's the only way you can do that is if you're trying to make a, a character that's uh, that's a villain protagonist. Even then, that's tricky. They have to be either antagonistic or at least really annoying. <laughs> like uh, the Poochus were like cutesy, but also straight up antagonistic in Excel Saga. Yeah, they were evil aliens. What was the series they were parodying with the space episode? They were just, I think they were just parrying the genre of space. Maybe Gundam? Yeah, but there's a really famous one that I always forget the name of. Galaxy Seed? I don't know. Space Captain something or other. Space Captain in the world of tomorrow. There's a Captain Tsubasa game coming out. A what? A Captain Tsubasa. The, like, uh, 80s soccer anime. He's getting a new next-gen video game. Oh. The only soccer anime I know, and I've never watched it, is uh, Inazuma 11. Yeah. I don't know God what that... this game doesn't have lives. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think this is, Rayman? Talk about a fucking sadistic... That's something I, I'm thinking about doing a solo stream of, is apparently there's a fan remaster of the original Rayman. Oh, Rayman. I don't know if it's a re I, I think it redoes the graphics a little bit, and it also adds a bunch of fan levels. Does it, uh... Oh, it's, maybe maybe the soundtrack will be stable. Oh, yeah. So it's like a Rayman Plus ROM hack, is the idea. I, I forget what Jumping the... circle? Oh. Oh, no, you need <laughs> Eco to break those ones open. Rip! Spider cave fights. It's just full of dark eco everywhere. Yeah, we don't. When you want, we can't you. You can't have lava. Am I supposed to break that like dark eco crystal? Maybe. Fuck it, I'm Worth here. Shot. I can't leave. Might as well just. I'm having bottomless death pits in a game that. with this kind of jumping, which is of course perfect. And of course, the only problem with the jumping is us being in control of it. Make this joke every single stream. Yeah. Yeah. Never it's not the worst by far. It, it could be a little. Out of the way! That crystal's gonna blow! Oh. Okay. I only oh, have to hit it it's once. It's nitro. I mean TNT. I guess if we break all of those, it'll probably do something. Oh, I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. I have a crystals, of course. No. Don't let the legs go out. Why not, Dax? What? 
why not let the lights go? I actually, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's usually this dark or not, because even playing on actual consoles like Kingdom Hearts, you get to turn up the lighting. Well, PS2 games always really dark. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. It's actually not that dark from where I'm sitting. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's my computer or my uh, monitor. Uh, Hello, firebug fly thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, You're do not I jump the crate open? I should have, shouldn't I? Trying to get through this gauntlet, you want to talk about Baki? Uh, so we're we're still watching Baki the Grappler, the original, and we haven't gotten to the Netflix one, which is a sequel to the yes. original anime. And uh, we we watch an episode, and it, it's kind of it bounces back and forth between trying to be realistic martial arts physics with like describing muscles and techniques and everything and doing just off-the-wall, batshit, insane metaphysics stuff. Yeah. Uh, like, we, com we compared it to Kenshin a little bit, but that was more an escalation of it just kept getting crazier as the series went on this while one, starting realistic. This one can't fucking decide. It's... It's decided to be indecisive. And it was really jarring this episode because we went to Baki himself hasn't done a lot this arc. And now suddenly he's, like, uh... He's A, sparring against visualizations. Yes. Doing his ultimate training. And B, he's just imagining people like fighting him. But he's getting injuries from imagining people fighting him. Yes. That's how hardcore his training is. <laughs> it's like when uh, Inaba uh, from uh, JoJo. Uh, <laughs> when when the, her son got got. And she was, she just like was suddenly filled with bullet holes. Like I can feel his pain. The, through the love of a mother, I feel your pain. And, no, it's just Baki is uh, imagining getting his ass kicked by by the Chinese martial artist. And and he did this in front of everyone to he prove that it worked. That he was getting injured by these visualizations of non-existent martial artists. His first wig, hey, uh, hey, Baki's finally lost it to. Oh my God, I can see it. A couple episodes ago, we had a, a boxer who had like five minutes of development and involving his ghost dad that wouldn't leave him alone. Yeah, ghost dad. Or no, his ghost coach's, grandfather. His coach's dad. Ghost grandpa. Yeah, and then. <laughs> like there was not enough time given to this this backstory to take it seriously. It just came off as stupid. And when we say ghost grandpa, we mean it. Literally, the ghost of his grandfather was there. He was just and, hanging out talking to him. Yeah. Like fucking ghost Nappa. <laughs> and the boxer. It's not like the boxer had like uh, was like was like had supernatural powers. He was just a boxer. <laughs> Uh, you can like crouch and jump to do a high jump, right? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. It's just. Oh, and you, and Yujiro, uh, he had a moment where he chilled the fuck out, actually. After, After he, he got, got he, filled with tranquilizers, they, which apparently worked. They filled him with tranquilizer and threw a net over him, and he just kinda. He kinda went silent. They threw him in a vault. Naturally, that didn't hold him for very long. But no, for a little while, out. but for a little while afterwards, he was pretty. He was pretty chill. He was actually. Like, oh, that's pretty impressive, Baki. You're doing well. Naturally, he was positive for one whole episode. He, well, not a whole episode. At the very end, he's like, "Why didn't you kill him?" For most of an episode. And Baki was like, "Fuck you, fuck you, Dad." That's that was the extent of. This, way. this is the main cavern. Yeah. So this is a right adjacent to where we could get out if we wanted to. I see. I see that thing though. I'm gonna go go for it. I imagine that that involves uh, some climbing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. So I'm going back to work. Uh, yeah. Not driving bus. They're basically sending me to a building to do whatever they can find for me to do. 
for the time being. But, you know, they're not firing anyone. They're giving us work, so. Yeah, that's good. I was worried about that. Like, like I had, like, there was plenty of reservations for leaving Battleground, but the main thing is I just really didn't want to leave you in, like, a very difficult position, but you, you assured me it'll be fine. Because I didn't realize that COVID was going to be, like, getting as bad as it was when I left. Yeah. So I'll I'll be doing that in the mornings for well that's I've only been told this week necessar next necessarily so I guess it'll just have to see they're obviously they're scrambling to try to figure out what's going on with routes and everything if we're gonna have more kids going back or they're what desperate the case might be the general uh, gist of, of what I'm uh, what I'm hearing is uh, as far as schools are going is that uh, they're desperately trying to get schools open in one way or another. Uh, depend, depending, yeah. Yeah. So the, the general but attitude... The special ed ones are particularly ones most likely to go back because they need the extra care and attention. Yeah. So we'll see how it, how it plays out after this week. No, that reset me. Nope, I'm, I'm on the ground floor. Back on the ground. Damn. Oh, uh, well... Like spider web your way back up or go out. I'm I'm going for that fucking thing. It's up there. floating in the middle. Wait, how many do we need? We don't need very much, so this... we need 71, I believe. How many are we at now? Like 40 something? 50? 54. Okay. I'm, I'm just we do this in the snow level and maybe if we collect enough eggs, we can spend them on a few a few more. I think the miners still have a few to sell us, and uh, if there's like the precursor, precursor artifacts, we can get them from. I mean, I might, I might as well. I'm here. I, I, I should just fucking. We have to experience the glory of the entire game, spider caves and all. This was this is the we level that it. usually fucks me in return playthroughs, because I obviously do 100 percent. And there's always just like one fucking egg that I cannot find in this vast expanse of a level. This is and it could be anywhere. Was this the level that caused you to decide no 100%ing this game is not fucking worth it? Oh no, I've done it before. It's at the ending made it clear that it's not worth it. Dude, this was like the early sign that it's like mm, maybe maybe 100%ing this game is just not worth it. Not at all. Not one bit. Can I cheese it? I'm gonna try it. Cheese what? Where are you going? Yeah, I, I did it. I skipped. I skipped a whole platforming section to get back to where mostly. Nah, this is the same place. Fuck. I thought you were going for the one in the. Yeah, I'm going for the one up there. Yeah. I just needed to get back up there. If only there were like Tony Hawk, you could set a checkpoint flag to reset yourself from. That seems like that would be a like a useful gadget. The fucking they love. There you are. Anyway. Oh uh, hey. So did I miss what? one? I must have missed one. One of the centipedes. Yeah. I guess that's why we haven't got that. It was the nearest fountain. Is, did I not get that? I thought I got that. No, I didn't. Okay, well, I need to find a... Uh... Yellow eco. Shoot, shoot, bang, bang. Shoot, shoot, bang, bang. So I don't know what my schedule is going to be for future weeks yet. I'm, uh... Tentatively be streaming a little less. We've already kind of started streaming less due to what's going on with both of us. Yeah. Over there. Am I going to be able to make that shot? He's not fucking moving, so I might as well Is there not it. a closer one? I don't, I don't see. Was that on one? Other, maybe on the other side of the pole you're next to? Uh... Okay. I see it. <clears throat> Oh, oh, you tried to do the Donkey Kong and it didn't work. You can't jump off a roll in the air. Damn it. 
be handy if that was the case. We know where it's at, though, so it's really too hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm moving. I think the next things we start, whenever we do start things, would be uh, Tony Hawk and uh, Zelda. We gotta start Twilight Princess. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's gonna be oh, playing? Oh, and uh, Hat in Time, you're gonna be playing. Yeah. We need to finish Odyssey, and also yeah. we need to we need to finish Kingdom Hearts too. I need I'm going to actively sit down and get to where we were before. Odyssey is one stream away. Metopia we're almost done with. Uh, Pokemon, probably a few streams, and Kingdom Hearts we're in the middle of. So those are the current four, and we're almost done with two of them. Maybe yeah, that's our so that's our together stream. Solo streams you mentioned uh, Rayman. Rayman, and I was thinking of doing a stream of Paperball, which is the Steam Monkey Ball knockoff. Yeah, and I, I was thinking of streaming Hylix, like, trying to do that all the way through. Jack, you got a yellow aura! Are you a Super Saiyan? If there's a blonde, how would you know if, uh, if a uh, blonde Saiyan is Super Saiyan? Well, if I, I guess there aren't any blonde Saiyans. They're all black hair, right? Yeah, they're all black hair. But if they except die, for, except hair. for Trunks. Oh yeah, except he's half human. Yeah, because Bulma's. That hair. was a very fortunate jump. No, it was it was very calculated. What are you talking about, fortunate? All right, let's get out of here. I, there, but we're, we could get. To, Dark ego crystal. We have to. I mean, we're, we're fucking here. I don't want to come back. But we can come back after we trigger the yellow things and make it did, easier. Did, did you not hear what the fuck I just said? I said I don't want to come back. Well, there's at least one that we're gonna have to come back for because we need them activated. Alright, fine. Let's leave. It's this way, right? It's not this way. It's the other way. Well, you know what would be great? A map. They didn't really... Games didn't really, like, think, Hey, you know what would be handy? A map. Because fucking Mario 64 didn't have a map. Spyro did, but it was, uh, it was hidden. You had to activate it in the options. Yeah. Yeah, Mario... Mario didn't have... I, I would say that that's... That Mario was good in spite of it not having a map. Because they added maps to later Mario games. Odyssey finally had a map. Sunshine kind of had a map. Sort of. It just never really bothered me. I just kind of... I, I like to learn the levels and learn my way around them. So I guess it's because I grew up on a lot of those games. What the fuck? Did Banjo I... have any maps? Um... No. Wait, hold on. This is the one here. Oh, I uh, uh, remember how I was talking about the the Japanese VTube streamers. Yeah. There was that Cro you know Corone, the the one uh, who played Doom and was like really enjoying herself. Yeah, sure. Yeah, she was. Uh, she played Doom sixty four and then played Doom twenty sixteen. Now she's playing Banjo. Okay. Sweet. And she's like, and and her response. Is She's like seeing the intro of Banjo Kazooie where Banjo is like playing the banjo and, and that stuff is going on and she's like Kawaii Okay. So yeah, she I don't know why she's Even just, even I as an American have always found Banjo kind of weirdly, unsettlingly cartoony. It seems like a very non Japanese thing. So I'm glad she's enjoying it. Yeah. I didn't watch uh, very much of it, but apparently uh, she didn't she couldn't figure out a puzzle. And, uh, and from what I saw in the comments, she used a, uh, she accidentally used a speedrun strat to get through a, a section. Yeah. So, yeah. I think down that way is the exit. <sighs> I'm, gonna talk, the exit. I'm gonna talk about- I'm gonna talk about- up. I'm gonna talk about Star Trek Voyager for a second because I'm suddenly reminded of this. Yeah. Um, uh, my parents and I are watching Voyager together. Uh, we're just kind of. What about this would remind you about people wandering in the vast expanse of nothing? Oh. Lost. Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> oh, what's really gonna bake your noodle, uh, later on in this conversation is, uh.
is just a specific episode where people get lost. Oh. So, so the Voyager goes inside like a space anomaly, right? And, uh, and when they enter the space anomaly, like, communications, like, stop working and certain computer systems, certain systems begin to break down. And, uh, and they realize as they try to go to their duty stations and stuff that they keep getting lost in the, in the fucking, in the fucking ship. They're like, wait, but all these three are, uh, are all on different decks. Why are they all on the same deck? And they're like, yeah, we're, we're getting lost in dark deck four. I thought this was deck 13. At one point, two, uh, two of the fucking, two of the fucking crewmates, they go different directions. And then they end up like showing up. Uh, again, uh, down down the hallway, and they're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. The episode uh, is called "Twisted" because it turns okay. out the anomaly is like compressing the ship into weird space-time distortion. Not bounce dolls. That's that's the that's the solution <laughs> for mod souls. Voyager, except they just deal with all sorts of like anime char anime characters. So what was the what was the case with uh, Genkai's spooky twisted house? Who did that? Uh, Her? I think it was, the like, it was like warped space inside of it, and that wasn't any of the psychic's powers. I think I think the house was just naturally fucked up. Yeah, the house was just like. Full of optical illusion staircases. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I figured it wouldn't be that easy. Remember that you can uh, you can swing after double jump to stay in here a little bit longer. Oh I, oh, I can? No, I can. Not after a high jump, after a double jump. really should be an exit level button yeah. in this game. But then it wouldn't feel open world. This is like one of those levels that you... You know uh, back in uh, the early day, like the late 90s, they would have like game consoles in like the electronics section? And, yeah. and it would it was before like everybody started adding demo copies to those. They would just have the game console going and they'd be playing random stuff. It's not been here before. It's feel I feel like this uh, this game, Jax, it would be here and you would be stuck and you'd be desperately trying to find your way out, but you couldn't. No and one would ever find the exit to the spider cave. Yeah. So the console would always be at the spider cave. Yes, even if you reset it. I didn't know that could happen. Travis touchdown just fighting the guy going, can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. Is this the exit? There's another dark crystal. How am I supposed to get over there? Good Hold question. On. I have an idea. I know what I can do. I think this is what they want me to do. Might be the only way. Unless you know with the yellow eco. Yeah. Oh, that's that's far. Uh, will I be able to make it? I'm gonna try it. One? I'm gonna try it, and uh, and if and if it runs out, then I'm gonna try double jumping. Yes, I know. I'm going for it, but. I'm stuck here. I might as well make. Okay, cool. I'm down. Hey, uh, Jack. Someone uh -oh. asked me the other day if I was down to you. You know what that means? You're down what? Ah, what am I asking you for? You can't talk. Yeah, that's right. 
Jack in this game just can't talk. You can only move, act, and and experience time slower. So this seems to go back to the scaffolding area. <laughs> hey Jack, does this does this dark hole eco seem familiar to you? So the exit is at ground level. We don't need to bother going up any trampolines or anything. I think the, that's distracting us. The exit Let's is Let's just follow the right wall. Okay. I will do that. Okay, that's trampoline. There was a, a fucking like choose your own adventure book where you would get you can get lost in a maze. Like it would tell you to go to a certain page, and it'd tell you to go back to a certain page, and tell you to go to a certain page, and tell you to go back to a certain page. Yeah. And that's how the that's how it would end. <laughs> Kinda clever. I think I'm out of the spider cave. We found the exit! Ice level is activated by going on a lift that I think is on the right after the tracks. Alright. Right after the tracks, got it. I have minecart platforming. Love minecarts! Trouble with the trolley, eh? Hey, uh, Jack, you okay? You're kind of shaking a lot, buddy. Suffering, he's Jack's suffering. Jack's head, head injuries finally caught up with him. <laughs> he's uh, he's suffering What's from. That? He's suffering from. Uh... Oh wait, this is back to the spider caves. Or is that where we're is going? It? Is this the spider caves? I. <laughs> No, that was the spider caves. I thought. Bro, what I don't the? I think it was. Okay, I I don't want to go and find myself What's back. What's that yellow glowing thing? That yellow what? On the ground. Is that just a, a death pit? Yeah, it's just lava. Oh. It's all okay. lava. Funny looking lava. Shouldn't even be in this lava. Yeah, here we are. Oh, this is just a different cave. Oh, this is the entrance. This is where the world entrance was. <coughs> we can't even find our way in the overworld area, the hub section. I'm reminded of that uh, role playing game I listened to where a person got lost in a fucking orange grove. And he, yeah. just, he kept failing his rolls to, like, get the fuck out of the orange grove. And then an evil scarecrow started stalking him. Yeah. Then he realized, wait a minute. This is orange grove. Why is there a scarecrow? And then he I set... reactivated the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Oh, Use that's convenient. Whatever you want. And then, and then, and then he set the, he set the scarecrow on fire. Which then set the orange grove on fire. <laughs> How'd that go for him? Uh, he survived, fortunately. Oh. But but the other players found him and they're like, "What the fuck happened?" And then somebody's like, "Hey, can you translate these documents for me? You're the smart guy." He goes, "I'm in pain." That sounds like a sounds like a story that Boomy. And Korra would tell, and then no one would believe that it actually happened. <laughs> Him just being chased by evil scarecrow through an orange grove. That he then burned down, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got the guy who owns the orange grove going, Oh, livelihood! Oh, this looks way nicer. Can you hear me, Jack? They just spawn indefinitely. I don't. They can't have. They can't. Maybe. Oh my god. This is 
maybe this is a spawner. Are you not able to approach it? Okay, that is a no. Yeah. I think we're just gonna have to move on, buddy. There has to be a better way. I think they just spawn indefinitely. Well, I'm healing. It's a good source of green eco. Yeah. Oh. You distracted me. No, it's my fault. It's always each other's fault. Get in the, get, get in the game. Part of the uh, final episode of Gravity Falls. And, uh, yeah. yeah, you Falls mentioned. In, uh, yeah, I, I watched it alone. You weren't willing to. Yeah, and it turns out I made I had a I, I made the best choice. The fi the finale was fine. It was uh, the the episode right before we the right after we stopped was not good. Yeah, I knew it. Dumb romantic hijinks. Episode. I knew there was a reason why I stopped, and you told me what. And you told me just like, wait, there's a romantic hijinks episode, and my response was, oh well, fuck that. But after that romantic hijinks episode, the actual multi-part finale was fine. And uh, like Mabel was worried that I was excited for high school because oh, it's gonna be like High School Musical. And Wendy told her no high school sucked. And, uh, she was happy yeah, about that. Wendy, Wendy knows how bad high school is. Okay, I thought they weren't spawning for some reason. So you spawn infinitely too, guy. That looks like a Crash of the Titans character. Clash of the Crash of the Titans? No. Okay. Yeah. I, th I thought you said Clash of the Titans, and I'm like, wait, you watch fucking Clash of the Titans? Is that for film class? Anyway. Why, why are you going back? I, I'm just checking. Lurkers. Completely replaced in later games. I don't think we ever see much of Lurkers again. Like, one or two. I mean... I mean, this game is basically a, d a completely different series from Jack Two and Three. Yeah. Let's just let's just keep that. Let's just say that now. This is a completely different game. Than well, what some stuff was. does carry over. It's not full on like Rayman One. No, fuck it. We're not acknowledging any of this lore. Totally rewritten. I'm just saying that that essentially with this game. It's like if, uh, if, if, like, you, you saw a- oh, Jesus Christ. Ice bridge. <laughs> what, what was I saying? Hold on, what was I saying? Um, you were gonna say it's like, it's like something or other, this game versus the later ones? It's like if, if you, if this game was a standalone game and somebody wrote a really popular fan- dark fic, or, like, fan fiction. That was more popular than like later games that follow this style. Yeah. That's what that's what how this game comes off to me. Or this Jack is barefoot, by the way. What a badass. Yeah, he's already that's yeah, he's just He's a he, he's weapon X. Come on. You got I, I wouldn't say these ice physics are good, but they're not that terrible. Oh! Oh! Crash Bandicoot bad. Yeah. They're not, uh... They're not Spyro bad. Or Spyro couldn't even fucking jump. Yeah. Oh god, they spawned in quickly. Alright, I'm, I'm going this way. Yeah, so you shouldn't linger around. Oh, hello. Super ice oh. cave. It's, it's the piston fucker. It's like a dildo. It's the it's ancient pra, 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 precursor technology, Jack. Don't disrespect ancient precursor technology. Yeah, these Even if they're ancient precursor dildos, they deserve our respect. Does that mean I, does that mean I use it with my key extended? Okay. Oh, that went wide. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I wonder if 
there's a... Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, that's not a ledge. That's just a slope. Never mind. That would be too easy. <laughs> that's, that's that's always what I think of when it's like <laughs> when we see something like that and he's like you gotta treat it with respect and I'm like I'm gonna just do it with my feet extended. I wonder why that became a thing. The uh, it was because in old times the pinky was kept for like picking one's nose and ears. You can't see it, but I'm making a face right now. I'm, I'm not joking. That's no. actually the reason. That, 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 was, that was not a dirty discussion. job finger. Okay, that explains. That explains. I understand. What? Oh, is that the eco you were talking about? Oh, Probably. we activated the thing. Literally the first thing we did. Okay, time to go back to the spider cave. Anything else up here? Yeah, there's a whole whole level. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm t I mean, up here. Oh. No. I guess not. I was waiting for you to fly into that cliff. I wouldn't do that. I'm too scared. What the? We live, we live in a very eco-friendly society. Yeah, this is this is an idyllic future. That. Uh... So there's got to be somewhere in the level that we deactivate all these four spheres. Probably. I wonder. I wonder what these four. I know there's like a, a lurker fortress somewhere. That makes sense. That we have to take down for some reason. I don't know if that's related to force fields or not. Okay. Oh look, another Rick the Ice Bridge. Is it was like over here? No. What the? Oh, that, that looks like a fortress. Oh. Fuck with him? I, I tried to fuck with him. It didn't work out. We need the, like, we need the red over yellow eco to smash that. You're not going to the fortress? Where the fuck am I now? Uh. I'm. Oh, okay. I'm back over there. Alright. What the? Excuse me, who are you? It's like the, the, the serious Sam guys. Uh, it's like they're like the ghouls from Serious Sam. The actual is anyway. Uh, what the name of those enemies? Hold on, I'm a. Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh shit! I like uh, seeing actors who are known for playing like one character, and then they're they're just playing like a, a character that's just kind of different. So completely out of their usual typecasting. Reverse typecasting. Uh, Imagine Christopher Lee as like an idiot character. An idiot character. Like a goofball. <laughs> like a fun uncle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, put... children! Hey, Chris! I put up the, another Battle Network highlights today. Yeah, I saw. I, I watched that. You 
mentioned the, the, that movie where Christopher Lee was the good guy, which is already strange for him. Yeah, it's uh, Midnight Express. Uh, we, gotta, we gotta do a watch to that, because that movie is... I didn't tell you, like, the crazy stuff that happened in that movie. I only, I only scratched the surface. I am completely lost again. Uh, this doesn't seem like a good way to go. Maybe you can make that jump, but I wouldn't risk it. Make that jump? Okay. We're in a cave now. Isn't precision ice platforming? It's snow. We're not slipping around. Oh. Now you, you could have had leeway from me. <laughs> What's the problem, Jack? The you weren't even slipping around. Come on. The double jump. The double jump didn't proc. God damn it. Oh man, this is gonna be a long. This is gonna be a long stream. <laughs> Talk about the. Oh, well, you can break open the crates that were at the top with the yellow ego. Roll jump, got it. Might just be a, might just be another path through. I saw the fortress. It was down towards where that red thing was. Oh yeah, you're right. We're going. Oh, hey, we're over where that other thing was. All right. Hello, yellow eco thing. I bet if you have the red, you can smash the, the stomper, whatever it was, the vice. The femur crusher. Yeah, we'll see. Nope. Oh, well, fuck me then. Hey, it's just ignoring. It's not bothering us. Oh. Jump down. Okay. I understand. Oh, he followed me. How convenient. That was nice of him. Very nice. Now, let's, uh... Let's get up here. Uh, why do you think we need to do anything with this? We need to break that ice wall, right? No. No. Well, why the fuck are they doing that? It's, it's like dark eco barrels, I guess. Obviously. They need to keep their preservatives fresh. Stuff we, we don't want to mess with that. Oh, it's dark now. Like there was a better way to do that. Wait, did I just 
just backtrack? I think we're down where we were before. So we were already outside the fortress. We can try to find a way inside. There's like a, looks like there was a stair, stair path up there as well. So we just to go back up. We needed to go back up. Yeah, thanks, Dax. Why walk when you can punch? It's that, that and more jumping are the fastest methods of travel. Have I been here before? I think so. so there's the door to the fortress. Maybe we need to activate something to open it? Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle around back there and see if there is. I don't think I've been in, in, in this area. Maybe. No game had a map. Ratchet and Clank. What's up? No game had a map. Ratchet and Clank. I mean, yeah, it, it actually had a de halfway decent map too. God. Yeah, we haven't. I haven't been this way before. Ice, ice platforming for me. This is this is not ideal. Yeah. I'm not gonna double jump. I'm just gonna. Uh -oh. This is perfume. Yeah, that would be very inconvenient if they hurt me. Fuck the pot, clean the burning blue flame. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, okay. So it's just. He hasn't been taught to me. He hasn't taught to me once. Eh? Okay, I've been up here. So wait. I've been up here. So, to open the lur Lurker Fork Gate, the mission is located past the frozen bridge, past the ice lake. I have no idea where either of those two are. No, that's not nearly specific enough. But is there a Jack and Dax to map? It's to a glacier troop and it's ice rolling. Oh, I can't. Guy pounding the wall. Is it 
This is a dude. Past the frozen bridge, past the ice, close to the, one of these guys. It has so to be over here. Is there an ice lake near this guy? We don't have to do anything with this, these machines. We'll never have to do anything with them. We're looking for a frozen lake near one of those guys. Oh, okay. I, I know which one you're talking about. I think that's the one with the machinery. Quick way to go over there. No. So you don't need to activate anything special to destroy those. You just need to double jump and do aerial attack on them. Oh. Okay. If I do that, will it, uh, will it thaw the water? I don't think so. Oh, okay. We need to... Uh... Smash it or just stand on it? What's the point of it? What, what are the point of these things? Is deactivating them all, is that like a challenge? Uh, that's another orb, another okay. I item. Check. Uh, well, we already, you just need to stand on it. You oh, already deactivated it. Okay. Ow! He, j he can't say that. He doesn't say oh, that. Right. It's out of character for Jack. Well, he can, like, uh, he can, like, he can, like, grunt, and he can go, ah, when he falls. Yeah, he's, he's an elective view, I guess is the term. Oh, no, let me talk, he just chooses not to. That's probably, like, he doesn't seem to want to talk. Jack, why don't you ever talk? I guess there's nothing for me to say. The only time he ever talks is when he gets so pissed off he vows vengeance on someone. And then afterwards he's like, well, cat's out of the bag. Might as well. Oh, this must be this the frozen lake, I bet. Yeah, pretty sure this is the frozen lake. Past the frozen bridge, past the ice. Into the caves of Dark Fenor. Yes. The secret room is waiting. At least these things are very obvious. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was over that. Did you see, did you see that? Yeah. Not over enough. So, uh, Dad and I, uh, we spent the day, uh, are they still the act? Am I still the frozen lake? Yep. We spent the day going and, uh, getting the recliner 
from storage and put it up here in the living room. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I thought it was broken for a second, but no, it turns out it's, uh, it turns out it's fine. It's, uh, big here, right? Sorry, I can barely hear you over the sounds of combat. That's the big one that you had here, right? Yeah, it, it, it broke into two pieces and then it gets in the storage. It's nice having that again. Is that over Across here? The frozen bridge. The frozen bridge past the past Ice the frozen. Lake. So over there. Okay. So we went left. We should have went right. All right. Yeah. But they have to put like ten of hey, these stupid bridges. The flood flood. Oh, hello. It's a flood flood. I, wait, wait, how does this work? Mount it and walk over the nearby precursor metal button to activate a number of floating platforms. Oh. I gotta wait for it to reset. I fucked up. Espresso. Yeah, it is much better than espresso. Espresso was useless in a fight. But but he had a high hurt box. You could walk over stuff. I would rather be able to kill stuff. What was your favorite uh, Donkey Kong animal companion? Uh, probably Rambi. Yeah, everybody likes Rambi. Rambi or espresso. I like I like on guard. Yeah. It made swimming level. It made water levels uh, more tolerable. I like how Rambi was so good. He, he was kept or she. The elephant was a she, I think Ellie. Yeah. Is that its name? Ellie the elephant. The one with the gimmick where he, Ellie's a freedom mice. So yeah. Rambi was in two of the games and was on guard in all three? On guard was in all three. Like, what would they replace on guard with? I don't know, something similar but unable to attack. That's basically what Ellie was, the less offensive Rambi. To be, to be fair though, you could shoot barrels as, uh, as Ellie. Yeah. Kind of, uh, you and I have a disagreement as to whether or not Donkey Kong 3 is like good. And yeah, wait for it to be closer. Yeah, because I I think that, that 3 had some clever level design, and you think that uh, that it didn't. Well, it was fine, I guess. It was an okay game. Underestimating the same thing. thing. <laughs> underestimating. There's not a checkpoint either. We're gonna have to do this whole stretch in one go. You went back. Why is this one easier? This isn't the fortress. It's the switch that opens the gate to the fortress. Oh. Okay, I see.
Alright, now how do I get back? Uh... Yip yip. I guess jump on that platform, it'll... Wow, what a convenient return platform. Why couldn't they have this convenient way... This convenient one go the way there? I went the wrong way. So you can't double jump and then spin? Keep forgetting that's a, that's a viable option. Every time you do that, Daxter's arms dislocate a little bit. So, what was it that you said about the about the romantic hijinks episode of Gravity Falls? That that it, it, what, what Dipper did wasn't too bad, but they treated it as worse than anything Ranma ever did. He basically went around like befriending a bunch of girls, getting their email addresses to talk to them later, but they treated him like he was being a giant asshole and like a super womanizer. But he was just... Like he'd sworn eternal fealty to them or something when he really just like made friends with them and it wasn't really that big a deal. Did they? Did it? No, he's a monster. Did it end with them re realizing? Wait a minute! I think we may have been a bit overboard. No, no. It ended with, "Oh, Dipper, you're a womanizing cunt," and that was that was it. That was the moral of the episode. And and they just never talked about it ever again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Did other people like enjoy that episode? Or ma masochists? Nope. <coughs> this isn't Donkey Kong. on Trink was a bit shown the fuck out. That's still amazing that he was a that he had shades of being a nice guy for like a second afterwards. Yeah. Is that the equivalent for him of like post not clarity? What, him doing what? Is that the equivalent of him like post not clarity? <laughs> post -trank post -trank clarity, yeah. Like the fucking, uh... Wow, suddenly I don't feel so pent up. I've been kind of an asshole. For a bit. Then, he, then he's like, why didn't you kill him? I guess There's also in that episode a dude dislocated his skull to keep his neck from being broken. Oh yeah, that Chinese fighter is just like, he just... He removed his skull in order to keep himself his neck from being broken. Who is voiced by Mercenary Tao. Just Kent Williams gets all the... the angry-looking Chinese martial artists. Hey, you look weak. Give me your money. Oh, uh, Darian's saying this game's pretty loud. Uh, let me double-check the... Compared to us. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm listening to the... I'm listening to the stream. Game could be turned down a little bit. Hold on. I'm, I'm on it. I don't think it's too bad, but I hear where he's coming from. Mixer, oh my god, volume mixer is just not wanting to open the right one. What was it we tried to Visual Boy Advance, and we couldn't change the volume mixer because the icon covered it up? Yeah, I think I think that was it. That was a while ago. Uh, how am I gonna? What is this game? What does this game want me to do? Oh, I guess go down here. I think you also might be a little bit quiet. You can turn yourself back up again, or get close to your mic. 
Oh, okay. You're still using the detached mic, right? Yeah. I don't have a proper mic yet, because, uh... Because uh, I'm going through some... I'm trying to go through, uh, make sure I'm physically and mentally fit before I find another job. It's gonna be a locks... My new thing is locksmithing, so... Gotcha! I did it! Sixty-five. What? Oh, that's a shortcut. Okay. It's a shortcut. No, it's going. It's going constantly up and down. Game's still a little bit loud. it now it doesn't sound any different turn it down what the fuck how about now that sounds about right yeah <sighs> I'll figure it out for Hylix Uh, I guess we need to get Blue Eco here to activate those. What? Is it? Am I supposed to? Oh, I, hold on. Oh, you only need one more. Yeah. So where's the, the the? Did we already get the orb that was in here? No, it's over there. Hold on, I'll get it. Jack with the flippy shit. Flippy shit. <laughs> Rock and some uh, upper body strength, unlike Crash, apparently. I played the Game Boy Advance Crash games, and yeah. in one of them, Crash cannot climb ropes. He can just hang on to them or drop down. He cannot climb up. He doesn't... he doesn't lift, bro. Clearly. Oh, that's ice. Well, it's a good thing... Frozen wood. So how many do we need? 72? Something like that. I don't remember exactly. Stop the last lurker. Great glacier troop. Deactivate the precursor blockers. Open the frozen crate. When entering, continue straight ahead across the gap and into the ice cave. Partway through, you'll find the eco vent. Requires. Okay, so near the start of the level, there's an eco vent that is now active because we activated all the eco vents. There's also those things. You mean this around one? The level. Where are you talking about? Partway through, you'll find a locked eco vent. When entering Snowy Mountain, continue straight ahead across the gap and into the ice cave. Uh oh. I ended up going careening. Hold on. Let me, uh. Let me just, uh. Let me just. 
Let, let, let me. I'll just take this and. That's still one of the better. I still think that I think that that uh, that version of that uh, Dragon Ball Z Those line. Those when was getting spirit bombed. Yeah. I'll just take this and. I'll just take this and instead of it, 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 the uh, Funimation one where they're like, no, no way, that's impossible. I can't control it. Because the other one just is just arrogant. Yeah. The other one is just like Frieza air gets where there's the. They would have to put these on this like sheer ice plateau. Yeah. It's easy to fall off. Still active, so I better. <laughs> Damn it! I can't believe that happened. In Jack 2, Sandover Village can be accessed through a glitch in the opening cutscene. What? Interesting. <laughs> Go, you can go back in time, or is it forward in time? No, it's back in time, right? Because this is the to future. Fight the Viking foes. Because this is this is the this is the future of uh, the Jackverse, whereas most of it takes place in the past. I'm trying to uh, navigate the wiki to find the number of things we need. So how would you do uh, a Jax 2 version of Mario 64? Damn it. Oh, what? Uh huh. Like make a, a sequel to Super Mario 64, but at, in like a darker version. Uh. I guess they did that with like Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and Super Paper Mario. And then they walked it back hardcore for the next few games. I guess it's just asking like how to make uh, paper, how to make Mario dark, and they don't really do that. No, they it's just more. They kind of did with Zelda, Majora's Mask to Ocarina, and uh, Twilight. even Ocarina was already pretty grim, like Ganondorf future and everything. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I deactivated it. Wait, I'm sorry. Gaul, the male dark eco bad guy of this game, is voiced by Twisted Sister frontman D. Snyder. What, really? The, the guy, I... <laughs> We're the guy not... prancing around in the, in the music video? We're not gonna, gonna take, take it. it! No, we're not gonna take it! Come on, feel okay. the noise! <laughs> I did... I did not know that. That That's hilarious. Just... They really. That's a that's that's an, a random voice get. Does he have a musical number later on? No. Is there like a, a scene where he's just cool singing? He did. Is there like a scene where he's just singing to himself? I think I missed one up there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Have him voice. Uh, he should have voiced Doctor Nefarious. Does Nef Dr. Nefarious have a singing number? Uh, well, he has, like, a, in a couple joke cutscenes, you remember. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry, that was your Galactic Idol audition, sir. <laughs> oh, Lawrence! <laughs> Fucking Dr. Nefarious, uh... Becoming a robot and then having robot supremacy is like when Cartman decided he like woke up being a ginger and he decided he was gonna become a ginger supremacist. Yeah. Except I guess Cartman didn't. 
he didn't, like... Stick with it? Well, no, he he, he didn't become a gen... He, he just woke up and one day he was a ginger, according to him, and then he just was like... He just rolled with it. He just was like, oh, I guess I'm a ginger now. All right, I'm going to be a, the gingerest ginger. We're going to be ginger supremacists. And then... <laughs> and then they told him he wasn't a ginger, and he had to walk all that back, and it worked. Yeah, we need 72. Oh my god, so 12 more to go. I have to, uh, maybe I have to go, back. go back to previous areas. Yep. Not necessarily the spider cave, but... Alright, I need to go to the beginning of this level again. Forget where the level beginning is, though. I think it's down the slope, right? Yeah. Across that bridge. Come on. Listening to your twisted sister. I carried an M16. I was like how he how how he said that. Oh. He just said like I carried an M16. So he's like, oh, what else did the twisted sister do? Uh, I want to rock. Oh, was that them? Yeah. I don't. I, I didn't actually know they did the. The other song you referenced. I know that uh, in the first. I don't know if there was any more than one. How many more like, SpongeBob SquarePants movies were there besides the one? I only was there watched second, the one. There was I think a second. There was another one. one that was like 3D animated later. Yeah. And uh, and if I remember correctly, uh, there was. Uh, the, the, during the second one, uh, they they remixed uh, "I Want to Rock" as "I'm a Goofy Goober Rock." Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was in the first movie. Yep. And that was the I one it, where it wasn't performed by a Twisted Sister, though, was it? I don't know. I want to say yes. So it was the it was the version of uh, Witch Doctor performed in the Rugrats movie that was about monkeys and was actually performed by Devo. Which one was uh, Witch Doctor? That was... Uh... Uh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ee. <laughs> that was the one that... Bang, uh... bang. Oh, man. You saw uh, Vinny uh, stream his uh, uh, directional Mario, right? You saw that one? Uh, I think so. Yeah. The athletic like theme, Mario. The uh, the yeah uh, the, uh, the athletic theme, like starting off as uh, as athletic, that, and yeah. then Finny just loses his shit. Well, oh, the Bing Bang. Yeah, he caught him so off guard. He's just like. Thank you, Gilva Sunner. Where? Oh, there it is. Hello, Charles. Uh, we got lost in the spider case for a long time. Yeah. I finally convinced Jack to leave, and now we're enjoying a lovely outing in the snow world. Eleven to go. We need eleven more things. Was that the final, uh, button? Was that yeah, one? that was the final button. So now, I uh, we need to... Lurker gl Glacial Troop. So I need to go back to the beginning again. We're not gonna take it. I want to rock. And what was the other one you you, you mentioned? Come on, feel the, the noise. Yeah. Girls, girls, girls. Was that them or was that Guns and Roses? Girls, rock your boys. Let's girls. get wild, wild, wild. Let's get wild, wild, wild. Man, twisted sister. Come on, feel the noise. They're fun. Uh, so the song is called Come On, Feel the Noise, but come is spelled C-U-M. C-U-M, I know. 
and Noise with a Z by the English rock band Slade. Slade? <laughs> yes, it's... Robin. Yes, Robin, I'm in a rock band now. I've learned how to get jiggy with it. I want you to be my bassist, Robin. Now drop your other band, Teen Titans, and join me, Slade. I'll never join you! Slade, frontman of Deathstroke. <laughs> oh, you will, Robin, eventually. You, you will once you hear my awesome lyrics. He's, he's literally come back from hell. He's a demon. That means he automatically has magnificent shredding skills. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, that scene in Oh Brother Where Art Thou where it's like, I sold my soul to the devil, and what'd you get in return? Taught me to play this guitar here real good. I just... Um, I just I just imagine, like, that dude who, who was alluded to being the devil. You know which one I'm talking about, right? In we Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Yeah. Oh, we ain't got no radio. He was the guy who just sat down and was like, alright, so what you gotta do is you gotta put your fingers over here and you strum, yeah, that's it. Alright, where the did fuck? You, did you climb the Oracle Statue Robot? I don't think so. Is that here? No, he said it'd be Cell easier level? if I went over here first. Uh, Come On Feel the Noise was released on a single with I'm me, M-E-E, -E, I'm now, and that's oral. What? That those sound like nothing songs. This this is a band that just releases all of their songs are misspelled. No, it's spelled with extreme funky cool letters. All right, I have no idea where it's the rest. It's like fucking. It's it's like uh the the, the like Viper the rapper titles, <laughs> but a rock band. <laughs> Good boy to Jane. <laughs> Cause I love you. <laughs> it's no. in the spider cave. Okay. Uh, oh, the the yeah the the we did that the rafters area. Yeah. So, so are there are there previous levels with lots that we can go back? We should go on a buying spree. Well, we should go spend our eggs. Well, I, we should stop the last... We should just clean out, like, the rest of this while we're here. Because we need every... Okay, go for it. Stop the last Lurker Glacier Troop. Where is that? Oh, uh... Is that in that cave up there? Okay. Open the frozen crate. Stop the three lurker great glacier troops. Yeah, that's the one I'm. That uh, the one? That's the one I'm looking for right now because that's the second one. After the feat of another, it was renamed. Oh, so it changes the name as you defeat them. So we have to find and defeat the last of the three dudes who are smashing the ice. There's oh, one okay. More out there. All right, I know where that is. In 1983, American heavy metal band Quiet Riot covered the song. Yes, I love Quiet. So that's the one. Quiet, Quiet Riot was once named like to, uh, one, number 100 in the top 100 metal bands or rock bands. Okay, it's down there. In 2011, the song was covered by queercore band Gay for Johnny Depp. Ooh, that's que queercore or homocore. Wait, it could, it's according to Wikipedia. Queercore, aka hobocore. <laughs> homocore. Homocore. Oh, okay. I thought you said hobocore. I'm like, wait, what does one have to do with the other? So it's punk music that's angry about, you know, LGBT stuff. That's a nice shot. Nice shot of Daxter there. Looking all, uh, all snazzy. God. 
One of the one of the suggested Google results was come on feel the noise twisted sister though. So you're not the only one who's made that mistake. Oh, Twisted Sister covered it? It was originally Quiet Riot? No, they didn't, but people okay. are looking on Google for the Twisted the Twisted Sister version, thinking that it's them. Okay. Alright, so... Because I knew Quiet Riot from, uh, from Bang... Uh, from Metal Health. Bang your head! This metal head will drive you mad. Metal... Metal Health will drive you mad. Bang your head. I, I heard that song as like the first, uh, as like the intro uh, to Crank. Have you ever seen Crank? No. Have you ever talked about Crank? You've talked about it. Oh, I have? Yeah. This is the, the one where, uh, where the British dude, uh, he gets injected with a drug that like slowly stops his heart. Uh, and in order to keep it from like stopping his heart, he has to constantly have adrenaline dumps. It's like medicinal. Well, Baki would be totally okay with that. Oh yeah. I don't think he would. He, would it even affect you, Jiro? Probably not. <laughs> That's his entire life is looking for adrenaline highs, mostly by killing people. If anything, it would it would provide him more of an incent incentive to do it. It's oh just... god, he'd be worse. <laughs> you made him more dangerous. It's a total you clone Broly situation. All right. Uh, open the frozen crate. Oh, you got the last guy. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got that. We got ten left. Open the frozen crate. When entering, continue straight across the gap and into the ice cave. Partway through, you'll find a locked yellow eco vent. Okay. Uh, so I so, gotta go back to the beginning and go yeah. to the ice cave? From the beginning of level, straight ahead into the ice cave. Yeah, this oh, we is just, cave. We just completely ignored this area. We never went in here, I guess. I thought I, I thought we did. Oh yeah, this was like a through path. Yeah, we thought it was just a through path. I guess there's more to it than meets the eye. One of those hard boxes, one of those hard crates that oh. we could have busted open. I guess has a has a thing in it, not just eggs. Oops. Oh no, it shunted me all the way back here. We did do the bird part. Yeah, the bird. Spider cave freaked me out as a kid. I that was the main reason that I've given up on a few hundred percent playthroughs of this game is because I was just missing one egg and it could was somewhere in the vast expanse of the spider cave. Spider cave. I got I got lost in spider cave. That was the that was the beginning of the stream was Are you serious? Oh my god. It's, uh, you... My least favorite level to spider cave. Man, I'm looking forward. Man. To, I'm doing. I'm looking forward to doing Hylix. That's. I, I know very little about. I saw if any kind of play through it, and then I stopped myself. Like I'm, I'm gonna play through this eventually. I, I know. Randomly generated dialogue, and it's Earthbound like <laughs> loosely. <laughs> loosely. I also don't think it's very long, but I don't remember exactly how long it is. Yeah. Then there's a sequel that you uh, gifted me one day. Thank you for that. Oh yeah. Happy uh, recent birthday, like a week and a half ago. Uh, week ago. Yeah, about. It's uh, it was on the twenty fourth. You actually wished wished me happy birthday way earlier. And you're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's not my birthday yet. Oh, that the one in the wall. Yeah, that's the frozen crate. Well, there's also a couple others that have eggs in them around here. Yeah, I'm a. Uh... Okay, I am going to find the last, uh... Those ones. Yeah. Break them open before you run out. Oh, well, it's... Rip. I wasn't... I was afraid that was gonna happen. Alright, I'm gonna find, uh, the final, uh... I'm gonna look around for the final, uh... Scout fly. fly. Yeah. I have no idea where it could be, but I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I think maybe it's over here. Maybe I skipped it earlier. Let's 
So there's one in the first gap, one in the cave. Uh, two near the frozen lake, and three in the Lurker Fortress. Oh, okay, I might have only gotten two. I'm gonna go back to the Lurker Fortress, and then if that's not there, I'm gonna go back to Frozen Lake. So this is the start of the level, right? Yeah, I got the one at the start of the level. Yeah, we got that, we got the all one I the need, cave. All I have is just one left, and, uh, ow. Sorry, Jack, you're not a Goron. You can't smash through those by rolling. Did I get the wrong turn again? No, the Frozen Lake is... Okay, Lurker Fortress is over here. I almost... Uh, yeah, I'm down. See? Look, I'm, I'm down that works. safely. All according to plan. All according to Kikaku. Kikaku means landing. We got all the we got all the centipedes in the spider cave. Yeah, we did. That was that was the one that took. So that how do we get blue eco here? That would be a lot of eggs in those that's, three things. That's the. It's on top of the tower. I'll, I'll go, go for it as soon as I find. Okay, wait, hold on. I just remembered. In front of the fortress is a bridge. Jump into the area below to find one of the flies. Did we go down there? Wait, what? Oh. I think we might have. In front of the, like, over here is a bridge. Is that what they're talking about? Just in front of the fortress is a bridge down in an area below. Is there one on the what? left? It looked like there was a place down where we jumped down. Down here. Is it, I, I guess. Like down on the cliff on the far end. Look down here. That's a negative. Huh. Okay, well I guess we got one that would be down here. Yeah. It's either down here or on the frozen lake. Yeah, no, I got I got the one down here. What? Oh, god damn it. Alright. So the other two are both in the fortress. Top of the first tower and top of a large building. Okay, I got the Opposite one up the, the up the large building, so I think it's the one up the tower. Wait, no, I got that. Didn't I get that one? I guess I did, didn't. Okay, you know what? There we go, it's reset now. I guess that's what we call death warping. <laughs> oh, it reset itself. Shit, the shortcut's I got... no longer active. Yeah, that's a, that's a shame. Oh well. Filthy casuals using a guide. Hey, we don't we don't want this stream to take too long. First tower is that the big wooden tower? Yeah, that's we already the... went up there, right? Yeah, and uh... you just high jump up, right? Yeah, or is it another this. tower? I'm gonna look around while I'm up here. And then opposite the entrance, the large building, we got that one over there. I as got well. that one. I think I got the one up here. I 
guess it must be one of the ones near the frozen lake. Yeah, then. let's go to the frozen lake. Since the enemy's approaching, he he projected the he projected the trajectory of the enemies and, and moved accordingly. And to the left here is a slope. Take this down where the third lock box is nearby at the bottom. Hug the wall oh. on the right until you reach a set of snowy steps along the cliff wall. Okay. This? No, that's frozen. That's the. No, we've uh, been here. This is the ice cave. Yeah. Ow. Go, uh, go past the frozen lake and hug the right wall. I'm on it. Cause I remember seeing some steps that we didn't go up earlier. Stupid frog. <laughs> Ignore it. <laughs> All right, where are the steps? I guess not. I guess in a different area than I was thinking. I guess it must have been on those ones we were on earlier. Over there? No, like the, the, where we were, all, we were already at, so we must have gotten it already. The left of the frozen lake is a slope. Okay, this is left of frozen lake. Where's the slope? That's uh, where the bird is. I don't know. I don't. I don't have any ideas. Wait. Here we go. Pater. Like those are the steps I was talking about, but that's. Are you sure we didn't? No, we didn't come down here. No, we yet. Yeah, you're right. We didn't come down here. Oh, there it is. All right. What a bizarre it. way for them to from the frozen lake. It'd be easier to tell us to get here from the fortress. <laughs> Kira, why is it always the last fly? <clears throat> Make them more competent, no, so it doesn't take seven to find them. All right. Dodge. All right, I know where I know where to go. Let's go through Ice Cave, and then we'll uh, be where we need to be. <laughs> what? I. It's just every time you yell, I'll ignore it! <laughs> just... What the fuck? Nope, his, fin his finger slipped. It sounded like he smacked his face against the, uh, the ledge. There we go. kind of seem to stall a little bit with the roll at the ledge, thankfully. You don't go careening off completely. Yeah. There's a roll jump. Ignoring hey. you. Uh-oh. How dare you ignore me! Ignore me! So let's go to the, the miner, because they've got more to sell us. Oh, I guess we can't get him. He's on the he's on the safe zone. Aww. <laughs> that was great. Dun, 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 dun. From uh, from the freezer and into the fire. Miners, they 
near here? They're in a cave somewhere. I think we have enough. How many scout flies do we have here? Five? Oh, we just need to find two more and we'll get another orb. Are you here, miners? No? Where are the miners? In a cave. So around the outside wall somewhere. Okay. So not here. No. <laughs> that would have been tragic. Is it this cave? That's this cave. Okay. Hello! Hey. Hey, Mario, we need those! Shut up, Luigi. Oh, alright already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. The same fucking. Okay. Have you done the misty part? Misty Island hover bike. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a. Uh, here's a. A power cell. Yeah, yeah. What he said. That's it. You cleaned us out. No more power cell. <laughs> what a salty individual. It's a hothead and a bird brain, you get it? Yeah. I get it. Eight, nine, ten. We only need five more. Yep. Alright, let's find the let's find the flies. Uh, there's here. one difficult but easily accessible one at the entrance to the spider caves that we can get now that we activated the vent. Okay. Otherwise we can do some warping, we can look for the scout flies. Hope they're not like camping on like a little island below us in the lava or something. I don't know which ones we've done. This that's gonna be difficult to kinda suss it out. Oh I see one. It's over there. Oh, is this power cell? Oh that's the that's the Oracle we have to buy more from. No, I'm talking about the scout fly. Oh. And eggs. Alright, how does how do they want me to I don't you think jump that's on there? Uh, on the left. Just jump up. Against the is wall. Is that gonna work? No, that's not gonna work. That's there's what a, I'm asking. There's an invisible wall there. Okay, that's what I was curious about. Dumb invisible walls. Circle around to the to right. I don't know. Maybe we could do a long jump for here. Yeah, you wouldn't say that if there was permadeath in this game. No, I wouldn't. I don't think I don't think it's makeable. Okay. That's a that's some that's a leap of leap of faith length. Uh hmm. All right, I'm Maybe go there's this. a way if we circle around from the other other side. Like from the cart through the minecarts? No. Okay. Go around the go around the building. Back to where we were before. What what? Go around the building. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I heard something else. Hey. Not in the cave, but to the left. Can we, we can, like, jump down? Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, I see, I see where we need to go now. We haven't been over here at all. No. We were just I was just kind of, I guess I was just kind of exhausted by this point. Uh, okay. Uh I don't know what fancy things are. Why don't you go all the way to the bottom before trying to do anything fancy and like scope out our options? Like the bottom of the stairs? Okay, I see now. I have a nice path right under here. <laughs> I haven't right. seen that in a while. <laughs> All eggs collected. Wait, okay, yeah, that's the oracle. He's got two. 
that are, I think, 90 each. Well, shit. So there's one more fly around here. Yeah, I'll look around and, for uh, it. Otherwise, I guess we can... Uh, there's the op there's the one in the spider cave we could try, and we could also backtrack if, if needed to uh, like go through a warp. Hmm. Where would where would it be? It would either have to be somewhere like down near the lava surface, or else. Maybe we missed a, some place on the mine tracks that we weren't looking. Well, I'll check the mine tracks then. Dark eco crystals. You're going the wrong way for the mine tracks. Am I? Or oh, am I going the right way? Going the right way, because then I can go on this bridge, and then. Yeah, no, I'm going the right way. <laughs> The f Wait, I hear it. You fly? Yeah. There it is. They're hiding. <laughs> They're good at hiding. I like that there's an audio key for it. Sixty-eight, sixty-nine. Four more. Let's just backtrack. I don't want to go back to the spider cave. Yeah. There's lurker troops in the map. Yeah, we took care of them. They're not bothering anyone. They're fine. They're incompetent. All right, where are we going? Uh, I don't, I don't know. What do, what do you think is a place that, uh, the blue sage? I guess we already went back and did a lot of the green sage area. Yeah. What's uh? Let's let's check our orbs that we haven't gotten. In like the pause menu. You can go up and down for different levels. I know. Lost Precursor City, there's four. Boggy Swamp, there's four. Precursor Basin. That was the hovercraft place. Oh, let's do that one. If I can remember where it is. That way? I think it's down towards the beach, They're like where you're going. Hello, Laura Croft. God. Laura Croft for Smash. Laura Croft? The original, like, there's two Lore Croft designs. The okay, I gotta remember how to how to fly this thing. Okay, I got it. As there's, in, like, the badass explorer one and the and the more uh, recent, like, the super emotional the, one. The more down to earth one. Uh, I wouldn't say she's super emotional, just more like, I guess they're trying to capitalize on Last of Us. Make her. More I know like, people have complained about her being less cool action character. I like cool action character Laura Croft. It's not the... I mean, both... Like, if, you're, if we're going by pure attractiveness, they're both pretty they're pretty even, but the the first one was just badass. She was, like, this rich, like, playgirl who, like, was just... She was female Indiana Jones, basically, with dual-wielding gunslinging. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. And the fact that she wasn't that in... In the latest game, kind of was like just uh, what? What are we even doing? Well, it was the same complaint people had with Metroid Other M. They uh, more so in Other M. It's just like people who who want to write more realistic women characters, but they realize they don't realize that that the that the characters were fine until they mucked with them. Yeah. Someone like like Samus was fine. Someone subscribed and still is displaying all fucked up. I wonder if that's a YouTube subscription. That doesn't need to show on stream. I mean, I'd mess with that later. So this must be a thing we haven't done yet. The yeah. rings. Yeah. 
I think accuracy is more important than time, so we don't need to be in too much of a rush necessarily. There's no proper braking. It's very slip sliding. You don't. What do, you, what do you mean? A vehicle that doesn't touch the ground has no traction? How did those... By the way, how, how are those hover vehicles in fucking, uh, the fucking Star Wars shit? Now this is pod racing! You just, you just killed, like, a bunch of people, Anakin. I mean, mostly droids, and you know what they say about droids. They're not... Only one person canonically died in the... in the pod races, though. No, he... he like... I'm talking about when he was... Uh, he actually said that line. He was, like, attacking that fucking... Oh, okay. I, I, I miscalculated. They wanted me to weep. That was his first taste of blood. Yeah, that they Before, wanted, you know, the, the younglings. The, the fan reaction to episode one ruined a lot of lives. Yeah. Like the guy like who actor vibes. Yeah, the guy who played Jar Jar Binks. He like he got really tortured by fans yeah. who don't realize that you know a person's character and the person aren't the same. Like how I think a voice actress got shit and for for doing Last of Us Part Two, which you know, however Last of Us Part Two is if it's bad or good or whatever don't fucking harass like like the voice actors they had nothing to, they have very little to they're do doing with their, their job part. they're doing their job and they have less to do with it than like the writers or, or like the developers or yeah the writers and directors just don't if you disagree with somebody's work don't fucking harass them unless it's like the writer of mine cough or some shit then but jar jar got complaints because people thought he was uh like a, a, a black stereotype, I, which I, I can see very loosely, but it's not really the character. Things close enough to make the comparison. Also, the character wasn't. The character was just slightly goofy. It's like, yeah. you know, if the character was like it, did it had a different voice, I guarantee that most complaints probably wouldn't have been there. If his voice wasn't. But that fucking annoying, or yeah. slash that, uh, that vaguely racist. Damn it, I almost had it. I'm a heal. The way the screen is, I can't see the chat, so you're gonna have to play devil bad. Strike. I mean, yeah, people can refuse to be a part of a project, but it's, it's not really fair to morally obligate them to in most cases, I don't think. People gotta eat. Like, like it's easy... It's, it, it is very easy to claim a moral high ground when you have a full stomach. It, it gets harder when, like, when you're getting hungry and desperate. Desperate people... I don't think a lot of these actors are that desperate. I know. But it's yeah. it's acting. They're being paid to do a thing. And but let's be honest. You know the name Jar Jar Binks, but you don't know the actor's name. Yeah. So he he, he was desperate. He he was just like, oh hey, I get to be in Star Wars, cool. And then his character ended up being hated, and he he's just like Star Wars ruined his fucking life. Not. I was no longer talking about Jar Jar specifically, just any time there's yeah. something that uh, brings up, you know, people find offensive or something, that's really all on the writers and producers. The actors are just paid to read lines and do their job. Also... They I, almost never have any personal attachment to the thing. Also, I don't I don't think that uh, the people found Last of Us Part Two offensive. They just found it to be to be not so well written. I think well, was the they, main... they felt betrayed as fans because such and such character died in a shitty way or however it went. I think, yeah, I think that the main thing is that the writing was uh, was bleaker than in Last of Us, and The Last of Us was pretty bleak writing. So yeah. it takes skill to have writing that's, like, bleaker than that. This is just... 
Like, and it's just like the kind of thing where it's like sometimes when you're when you're writing something, you have a story. It, it, you can have you can have like all the right moves and still come up with something bad. You can make have all the bad moves and still come up with something something good. Bad moves. Like uh, I'm trying to think of like something that that was. I should probably stop thinking about that kind of stuff. I gotta focus on getting through these rings. Yeah. So it's not a global timer, it's like an individual timer. Yeah, I think so. I think you just have X time to get to the next ring before it expires. Wish, like Spyro. Wish they would, uh, like, show it on screen. That's not organic, though. You, you want your magical techno rings floating in the sky to feel organic and real. Mm. Like, I'm actually there. This is the one that's off the side. Yeah. I got it. Okay, over there. That sucks. Stupid hole in the platform. Yeah. That was probably the last one too. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that one on ice for a second. What? Uh, navigate the purple. There was like something time trial. Record time on the gorge. How does that work? I don't know. Is there also scout flies in this level? Yes. And I got four of them. I guess I could find... Wait, what? Uh, do we have to get the things in the holes? They probably don't pop out unless we're a ways away. We have to run into them. Hello, Factual Sky. Oh, what? I'll get you. Maybe we need the... Maybe we need the green echo. Eco. To be fast enough. Is that how that works? Sure, let's let's do that. I think it makes us faster. I don't remember. So it I'm still wrong. This is Jack. Yeah, hey. I'm the one Jack playing. Jack with a C. This is Jack's first time playing through uh, Jack and Daxter. Oh, we need to dive bomb him? Sure. I, I, I'll, I'm down with that. We're hoping to finish the game today. Oh, oh hello. I guess it depends now on how crazy the final level is. Because we're not even at the final level yet. We need to get a few more things, and then we can make our way there. Oh, I shit. think it's fairly difficult. But... Also, the emulator we're using, it's, uh... It's... It, yeah. It's a... We were optimistic, but, uh... It's a, it, PS2 emulation is tricky. It, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of meat. Oh my god. We own the games. I play, We played uh, Ratchet & Clank games on console. First yeah. two Sly Coopers. Streamed those. It looks nicer on emulation. It's higher resolution. It's just what the this. What happened? Jesus. Oh, god damn it. Okay, this it'll be easier if I go attack it this way. So how do we get those, the gophers? Uh, it's got to be a dive bomb thing because of that, uh, because of that chain of eggs. Yeah, unless it's not, that would be difficult if it wasn't. Last level is pretty hard. Oh, what's that to the left? Is that the final, is that another scout fly? It's not the final one, but... Like under the under left. the arch. Uh, oh, under the arch, like down here. Yeah. No, that's just that's just an e black eco crate. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, this is the way I was talking about. Okay, no, the I saw the the boarding thing. Yeah. 
where the thing spawns. I've beaten all... I've beaten the three Jack games. I haven't played Jack 4, Lost Frontier, or whatever. One that people were kind of lukewarm on. I haven't played that one. But I've completed Jack 1. Jack and 2 and 3 have so much stuff to do. I've never 100%ed them, though. I came close. Some of the challenges in Jack 2 were just too crazy, though. This needs a reverse badly. Yeah. I don't think we can, I can dive bomb him because he's all the way up there. No, he saw that coming. Dexter Precursor Basin. Yeah, yeah, get get some. Get some info bombs going. Herd the moles into their hole. Oh, okay. So we're not. So they're supposed to be there. We're not supposed to. I forgot. That, did we already get that one? Yes. So we're, we're fucking around doing nothing. Oh, okay. Catch the flying lurkers. We did that. Uh, Eat record time on the gorge. That's the one. Here we go. The gambler was in need of a comeback. Wait, where the... Uh, f hold on. What? Okay, I see it now. No, I don't. Oh, you found the, the start? I found the start, and I tried to go up, but it denied me twice. Uh... Isn't, uh, doesn't Lost Frontier go back to being about, like, eco and more al along this game's lore? Oh, whoops. That, that wasn't where I was saw the ring. Race aborted. Try spinning, that's a cool trick. <laughs> You're just in the middle of like a of like a combat situation, like uh, like Nabu Freedom Fighters are dying all around you and there's a lot of gunfire going around and what what's something you say? I'll try spinning, that's a good trick! A lot of folks were croaking. Battle droids were broken. Was that weird, Al? Yeah, we did a, did a American Pie parody that summarized the entirety of episode one. Okay, now, then I gotta turn. This fucking U turn. Those are the best race courses with hard U turns. Yeah, this is the only race course I've played with a hard U turn. I had Am one I of even those going button. the right way? I don't, it doesn't say race aborted, so I guess. As long as there are dildos coming out of the walls, I think you're going the right way. Okay, I was a second off. So, I'm on the right track. Try again. I'm on, I'm on, I'm close. Uh, let's try that again. Never played Lost Frontier. I thought it was a myth until you said otherwise. <laughs> It's just you just uh, a, a game that's that's uh, information is passed down from old story to old story. As I understand it, it goes back to this sort of thing, and, and we learn more about eco as opposed to two and three being more like futuristic and cyberpunk. Yeah. But but the, the fandom was like was like we can't ever go back. The no, we want edgy TV. Jack. I just fucking died. Is that edgy enough for you? There. Now I can easily find my way to it again. Oh, 
Okay, good. Oh, that's not good. Imagine the Weird Al parody, but the lyrics are changed to reflect backstroke of the West. <laughs> no, that was an episode three thing. No, right? that, yeah, that was episode three. That wasn't. Okay. I made a uh, I made a mod nation track with a hard turn. In my defense, though, in that game you could spin in the air and change the direction upon landing. You can't do that in this. Was it that was that feel good factory? No, that was Road Rocket's Abomination. Okay, yeah. Next time, pick a level that doesn't suck. Hey, I did it. Hey! Alright. Where, where, where's my reward? And all my, all my favorite racing games are dead. Czar Creations, where? Blur went under. Bond Nation, dead. Where's, where's my reward? You have to go back to the gambler in town and he'll give it to you. Oh, okay. Not making any new F Zero games. Right. You know what would be perfect? An F Zero Battle Royale. Because <laughs> it's already basically that. You have 30 people on a track and they die over the course of it. Get the power cell over the lake. Oh, that one, that thing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sounds it's easy. Just as we're looking at it. Like, they really just have to market it that way. Raise the cap from 30 to, I don't know, 60 racers. Put them all on track together and have watch them die. Yeah. There, it's Battle Royale. Death Race 2000. God, that was... Oh, man. I memorized the henchmen. 21 and 24? Oh, the, the Jack 2. The guys, they're always talking on their radios. Oh, the Combine? Sure, yeah. Taylor. <laughs> Close enough. So we have, to, we have to ramp up there. Oh, God, I have to do platforming. Platforming on a hover. On bike. A hover. That, oh, my God. Make Selty proud. Tony Hawk, you called Tony Hawk basically platforming on a skateboard. Yeah. Because that was the fun part, is getting to places that, uh, trying to get to places. The, then they ruined it by allowing you to get off your board. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no, fuck this shit. It's like if Mario had a quadruple jump, but who cares? It's not an accomplishment anymore. Hey. Jack 2 is like Samurai Jack. Flung into the far future, where my evil is law. How the fuck did I get up here? Jesus Christ. I got up here once, and I forgot how I did it. There we go. the hover bike bits. They're okay. Oh, you better enjoy them, because we got a whole game of them for you. It's called Jack X. Are those hover bikes? I thought they were buggies. Uh, I think I think it's like... Uh, I don't remember if there are multiple types of vehicles in Jack X. I remember being a pretty decent game, though. Obviously a lot more polished than this. Yeah. Oh, those have a bunch of them in there. Yeah. Uh... Jump from island to island to the final one. I it didn't let me jump. Shit. You know, on the bright side, um, how much does uh, does Olmec take? Like ninety or one twenty? I think ninety. Okay. Well, Maybe ninety. is one twenty. I'm not sure. Though. I'm gonna say ninety. Hold on. I'll, I'll check. Well, I got ninety. Let's try it. Let's go over this one more time. You can make it. It's so sweet. It's so Bring squirrely. Nine. 
90 orbs to the gambler, to the geologist, and to the warrior, and then the oracle wants 120 for each. Oh, shit. But we could give 90 to the, any of the other ones if we haven't got them all yet. We, I, thought, I thought we did. We cleaned out that whole entire area. I don't, I don't know. We have one in the bag after, after we head back. We just need to... I just need to platform better. I'll try jumping. That's a neat trick. <laughs> I like how in Star Wars every everybody knows what uh, what language. Everybody knows droidish. Yeah. Oh, right, just, scout fly. Yeah, that's that's a one more, and then and then I think we'll be up three if we can. I also like how in Episode One Racer. No one spoke the same language, but you knew that everyone was just swearing everyone else out constantly. Hold on. Got it! Final one! And if no. we can make this jump... God, if we could just set a respawn marker here. No, that'd be too convenient. Alright. Got it! No fear! <laughs> yes. What else did Vangelis do? They didn't. They weren't the South Park theme guys, were they? I think. Or. Uh, all right. So 70, how many are we at now? Seventy-one. Or uh, we have seventy. We get. We go back there. That's seventy-one. Check the Rock Village orbs. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the purple precursor rings. Humor, check the rock village orbs. Humor me. Okay, rock village. Yeah. Boggies. Scroll up. Okay, we got them all. Never mind. Yeah. So I'm gonna go for the. If we get the purple rings. We got all we need. Yes, we can. We can go and face the final challenge. Bowser's evil test, if you will. Hosted by Twisted Sister. <laughs> the fucking voice actor for the the main villain is fucking Twisted Sister. We're not going to take it. The lead singer for Twisted. Talk about. I never knew that. I never did either. Did you guys know that Gaul was voiced by the Twisted Sister frontman? Who's who voices Maya? I mean. I mean, she's not guaranteed to have a famous voice just because he does. But. Yeah, but check it out. Maybe it'll be someone we know. Maybe it'll be Greg Grady Lyle. Jennifer Hagood. I've never heard of her. What else did she do? No, I would have recognized her as Grady Lyle. Well, just... What else did she do? IMDB. Is an actress known for Jack and Dax or the Precursor Legacy. Oh, That's not promising. This was her f most famous work, huh? She has credit with. She never got hired for another thing again. I wonder. I wonder if it's if it had. I wonder why. If she just wasn't very good, or if just that she decided it wasn't for her, or she, she did something to get herself blacklisted. One of those three. She became a twisted sister groupie. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she wasn't. She didn't. But what if? Oh, that was the last one. All right, let's go back to the gambler and, and finish this fucking game. This gambler is gonna be the one who indirectly saves the world. Yeah. So I'm sure it wouldn't be more than another hour, but yeah. Whether you're up for it or unless we'd have to do another shorter stream of this in the future. Shorter stream of this and then just do this and uh, Mario Odyssey back to back if the worst case scenario happens where we, uh, where I have to leave. I don't know how long Mario Odyssey is going to take us because we got that whole hardest part of the game. Alright. Oh no. Where's the exit? Uh oh. What 
happened to the rest of it? I enjoy the fact that in Jack and Daxter, you you have all the all your fucking abilities unlocked immediately. Your movement options. Yeah. Crash gets unlockables in most of the games anymore, but they're not usually not super amazing mandatory ones, as opposed to Banjo, where you get like pretty much all of your moves over the course of the game. Yeah. Where's the gambler? Is that the gambler? In the middle section, I think. Like the big wooden circle. Okay. Gambler. So having the pants off dance off. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's warp back to the uh, final area. I can't. Get on our hover bike or whatever. Alright, where, where's the fuck? We gotta find the hut. Hut's up there, but how do I get to it? Better start climbing. Oh, God. Around to the right, I guess. Yeah, we go past the we go past Laura Croft and there's like a cave we can go up through. Alright. Nasty focus. Always have a warp to the tutorial area. This is handy. Alright, so we need to talk to someone, right? We need to talk to. We need to. I guess go to wherever it is we can go that goes to the next area. Where the All fuck right. is that? I don't know. You're asking the, compl the wrong person. You think I know that shit? Do you know where to go, guys? game is just me getting lost over yeah. and over again. I mean, the fact of the matter is that is that it's kind of impressive because this game isn't maze-like. It's Not, just open. It, it's an open world game without a map. Yeah. Maybe the place that I thought was the previous area was actually the, the lava tube. The place we need to go. Is this it? No, this isn't it. This was how we got here. Yeah, so I guess... So we need to go to the other one. Yeah, the lava tube. You were right. That is the previous year. Because I remember we flew through a lava area before. Yeah, like in the very beginning. Can't have too many lava worlds. So, we're going this way. I 
Is there anything over here except for the mine carts, though? Yeah, there's... <clears throat> here, I'll show you. What the... Hey, you know what? We didn't have to go back to Spider Cave. In fact, how much yeah. of Spider Cave did we do? <laughs> Barely. Half of it, maybe? Half, half of it. That's plenty. That's enough Spider Cave for one lifetime. We would have been done. We wouldn't have been able to do Spider Cave at all if we just focused on cleaning out the levels. Yeah. This just goes to the Spider Cave. But I think you're going too far. You sure? I thought this went to the lava tube. I know this goes to the Spider Cave. I think you went too okay. many tracks. All right. Well, in that case, I think it was on the first track. Yeah, because the other one was flat. Alright, I got it. There's one place I know where it's at in this world. It's the stupid spider cave. <laughs> it sticks with you. Just picturing your Civi 11 esque takedown of Spider Cave, just like, fuck this place. You've never watched a Civi 11 video, have you? I think you've shown me one or two. Yeah. I think one of my favorite ones is when he's just talking about uh, the game Creed. Yeah. <laughs> he just loses his mind playing that game. It's really shitty. It's it's janky. Which is better than shitty. If it was just shitty, it'd be one thing. But if it's janky, there's, just, there's layers to it. Alright, are we leaving now? Good old lava tube. Oh, I have to talk. Bulbasaur. Me too, Aerith. I saw that. That was hilarious. Oh. And then Jack fucking died. They never made it to the yellow, <laughs> the red stages hut. The yellow stages hut. out over lava and they're fine. They don't, they don't pop or anything. You can tell that Naughty Dog's second favorite genre is racing. Yeah. Like, they keep doing a platforming series and then ending it with a racing oh, game. I can't wait for Uncharted kart racing. <laughs> Uncharted. Uncharted. That's next up, we've had three of them. Uncharted street racing. Yeah. What the fuck? Grand Theft Artifact. Shoot the power sphere. Excuse me, there, there's a boss? <laughs> you forgot about this, huh? I guess we didn't have one for this area, but... Wait, I did it. What, what, what's left? I guess we just move on? Is that That's it? Way to go. Oh, no. There's more- oh no. Oh, please let this be enough to cool me down. Okay, good. Oh no. Checkpoint! Well, that's nice. Pod racing noises. Okay, 
Okay, I got it. I, I realized that uh, that if I'm up on those uh, hover platforms, uh, not hover platforms, but if I'm up on those platforms, then my heat gauge doesn't rise. So, yeah. theoretically, I can stay on those indefinitely. See, look. It takes time. Could, but you also need to be moving quite fast enough to make the jumps. It's fine. What if Hot Wheels, but ghetto as shit? <laughs> Remember when there was a Hot, a Hot Wheels, like, action cartoon? Yeah. On Toonami? You no, know, you know what, what was that was all about? They just took another cartoon and they rebranded it as Hot Wheels. Did they? Yeah, that, that was the story behind that cartoon. I was not aware of that. Oh, that's right, of you course. can shoot. Hey, a checkpoint. This is a this is a nice final level. Yeah. They're really nice and generous. Yeah, this is way too generous. It needs to be harder. <laughs> I t I turned t I took I that that left was way too hard. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Come on. Somebody's destroying our dark eco supplies. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo. So optimistic. <laughs> I should have waited for the next one, but I didn't know if I had enough. Yeah, these things handle a bit squirrely. These are consistent across all the games. These, they, they really like hover bikes for the Jack series. Yeah. Cool, I did it this time. I do think they improve as the game goes as the games go on. Man, that would have been handy if we just were allowed were allowed it. Allowed what? To just get that orb. Alright. Red Sage. Open! Do we need to activate something? Oh, this is the warp gate. This is the Red Sage's hut? Or the yeah. yellow one? Sweetheart. Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Oh, that's it? Just fight? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, well. That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. Strong, silent ones get all the ladies. Goal in Maya's Citadel. So what do you think? Should we save this? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking get through it. What are you talking okay. about? Okay, go for it. Nice to see you too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. 
Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. They built a mecha. Diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening Diabolical. Silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. Oh man, we don't get to we don't get to fight the robot. <laughs> well, that's pretty obvious. Just gotta go free the sages. Okay. Oh, hello. That's interesting. Oh. Hold on. I think I'm skipping a step. I think you just navigate around the area and find the four of them. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I want to try to find Sonic 06 on, on on PC, like a PC version. Like a fan port? Um, yeah. Or, no, there, it was released on PC, but they took it down. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Land on the next launcher. Platforms. Linux, Xbox 360. Yeah, it was on 360 as well. Okay. Uh, that was what Google said. Wikipedia says PS3 and Xbox 360. I guess there was... Maybe there was at one point a Linux version. Linux? <laughs> Sonic 2006 PC. Wait, did it... Did I fail? No, I couldn't have. Okay, yeah, I knew it. It's a fan game for Windows that aims to port Sonic 2006 to PC. <laughs> Latest version demo. <laughs> okay, well, I'm wrong then. I thought they... Are all those? I'm gonna give Gall and Maya a little payback for this embarrassment. Then we'll see about cooking up some muskrat stew. Are all the sages dicks? Yes. All old people are dicks. Didn't you know that? You're trash, and you'll always be trash. Uh, feel free to stay in my house, darling. Also for Android Arcade, Blackberry, Brew, Doja, Game Boy Advance, Genesis, iPad. I think this is the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. The one that said for Linux. This seems impossible. Follow your heart! There we go. Right, fire next. Oh my god. <gasps> Quickly. <laughs> Who came up with this? Oh, and I gotta do that thing again. Darn it. Oh, 
I just accidentally touched the yellow one. Oh, you're fine. Or not. <laughs> remember your spin. Yeah, I gotta remember that. <laughs> Damn it! They didn't really make the attempt to, like, whore out this franchise as much as Crash. Like, there was no Jack Party game, there was no, uh... Yeah? They didn't have 2D platformers on handhelds or anything. Jack dating sim? Yeah. Now do it again, but get all the eggs. I don't need to. I am free from that obligation. But you're not gonna see the hundred percent ending. You wanna look at? We could look it up on YouTube afterwards. That's fine. We'll no, save it for, uh... we'll we'll save it for Jack too. They'll show the hundred yeah. percent ending. <laughs> look what you missed. What a <laughs> what's the hundred percent ending? Man. When we see the regular ending, I'll describe it to you, and you'll know exactly what it is. They go on a magical journey. That's what the... It's more of a cop-out than the Inuyasha ending, prior to final act. <laughs> Someday we'll get that filthy Naraku. And they did. <laughs> I got him. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's another solo thing I was considering. Just to see what it is, that Inuyasha DS game that was only released in America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try it. Play the play the license trash and then I can I can see you play the license trash. It's like it's like a fan fiction video game. <laughs> How did the anime game only get released in America? <laughs> Hundred percent ending was the biggest fuck you to me ever, says Charles. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad we can agree on something about this game, Charles. As Jack double jumps into a pit for the fiftieth time, <laughs> justifiably so. Whoop. Oh my god! <clears throat> Gonna need to do the spin. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I'm not doing this on purpose. Uh oh. My oh. controller died for a split second. I, I hit the button and it didn't move. At least this game has shadows. Yeah. Ow. This game that was really marred by the lack of shadows. Uh. I don't know. I think I feel like that happened with one of the one of the crash games, like one of the later ones, the ones that should have known better on like the PS2. I don't remember which one, but I know I've had that complaint about a game I've played. Why are there no shadows in this game? I can't see where hard. the fuck I'm gonna land. And a plat shadows are really useful in a platformer, and you don't even need good shadows, you just need, like, enough. A dot. Something. A dot. The landing, the landing light. Can't jump over there. I think it's just a tight, tight moving platform jump. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna do a long jump next time. I 
could have just done this this entire time. What was I thinking? Alright. There we go. I just fucked it. Can I long jump on that? On Maybe the, you'd be better off the... just waiting for the platform to move to the proper position. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm try it. I'm gonna see if I can. Okay, cool, I can. Somebody posted something, I, I missed it. Hey Jack, remember a few streams ago when I said I was going to hold my criticism for your playing since it was your first time? Felt it would be unfair to compare your ability to mine. Well, since you seem to continue to blah. To blah. Yeah, I am blahing. To blame the game, I'm going to go ahead and say no, you're not bad, it is the game's fault. <laughs> Oh. I'm not the I, the thing is is that is that my skill in platformers is all right. It's just that the PS2 I, platformers I, of this era just had pretty low double jumps. Yeah. And I don't think the level design quite caught up with that. Oh, what? Okay, other way. No, not other way. Okay, I get it now. It's just every other one. I have an idea. Ha! Ah, I tricked him. Oh, made it. Oh, but you didn't get the eggs. You're gonna have to go back and get the blue eco. Oh, okay. Oh, that's one of the one of the sages. So this guy, he's the blue sage. Yeah. He's nice. He's nice. He's the nicest one of, of them all so far. Alright. Time to go down. I guess they just said, fuck it, you're all only going to have one line, so uh, go nuts. Name. It's like how the, the first Crash PS2 game, they spent the entire budget on getting big name actors for like the bosses that only spoke a couple times. It was uh, Mark Hamill and uh, Guttery Sergeant Emery guy. Em uh, Arlie Emery. Yeah. Am I going the right direction? I guess I am. Seems mostly linear so far, right? Yeah. Then again, I guess it is that way. Okay, I see now. I get it. I'm trying. I'm kind of uh, messing with uh, Streamlabs to try to disable that subscription thing that's been happening. Hold on, Jack. Yeah, I made it. He's fine. I don't know what happened there. Is Charles salty that I, that I just keep? Uh, Keep fucking up in this game and then blame the game. I don't think so. I feel like it's a good, it's a good game. You say you've enjoyed it for the most part. Yeah, I have. I, I, I mean, I keep dying a whole lot, but at least the punishment uh, for dying is is very low. So, Crash Four is gonna be weird. They have optional lives. 
optional lives. You, you can have it in like classic mode where there are lives and life pickups, or you can like turn it off. And you have infinite lives, but it keeps track of how many times you die. Oh, okay. I wonder if there's gonna be any incentive between the two or, or what. I'm sure there's something. Okay, that was serendipitous. Okay, I got it. So speaking of Tomb Raider uh, from earlier, there was uh, all Tomb Raiders have uh, have like a tutorial level where you just kind of uh, wander through Laura Croft's uh, mansion. Yeah, and uh, and always at the very end, it, it, it ends with the swimming section, right? And then she's like, "I gotta get out of these damp clothes now." And then the tutorial level ends, and it's just like, you think they knew what they were doing? A bit a tease. Obviously, they knew what they were doing. Okay, cool. I got it. What if they reference that with Nathan Drake? Oh, I have to get out of these clothes now. Oh man, you remember that there was that death battle between Nathan Drake and Laura Croft? Was there? There was, yeah. How'd that go? I forgot who won. I know barely anything about either series, to be honest. Uh, you know, Laura solves a lot of puzzles. Laura fought supernatural entities, but I guess so did Nathan Drake. Yeah. Uh, but I think the thing is with the original Tomb Raider games, which I kind of want to get to at some point, uh, alone or whatever, is that uh, is that they're very they're platformers, but they're kind of but they're slower platformers, like the original. They were like uh, puzzle platformers. Right? <clears throat> yeah, they are. They're puzzle platformers. I'm good enough at, at puzzle platformers now that I'm sure that if I that I could I could probably get through it kind of easily. I want to I want to make sure that they run though. And, I have, I have them. Okay, is it over? Can I, can I move on? No? Do I gotta, I gotta finish all you fucks off? Okay. Come. I guess I'll have to finish all you fucks off. Oh. Say good night, Jack. And they dropped me off right here. <laughs> that was that was a failure. Simon says you die. Wait, what? Some of them fell already. Oh. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, I guess that's what they were before. Some just aren't there. Well, it's fine, I got through it. I guess you gotta hit the things at the end to stop them. Stop yeah, and them. then you gotta kill them all before they... Combat, the combat in this game it is is a bit. Uh, cryptic. Attacks take a while to come out. Yeah. The door is open. Let's get going. Cool. Wait, what? Oh, is there more platforming? Uh. Well, you're not gonna be able to linger on those because they go back into the wall. Yeah. And the camera is not your friend here. Not yet. I'll have to, uh, make the camera. <laughs> it's 
Snake, wearing no clothes offers no tactical advantage whatsoever. What are you doing? <laughs> you know, it uh, feels good. Yeah, Naked Snake. There's a reason why they call him Naked Snake. <laughs> you finally come to rescue. Why are you so speaking like a Oh, he's nice enough. While you're at it, get that damned hedgehog! I'd love for their, in like, uh, for one game, like, there's one character and the guy's like an antagonist. There's a guy who's an antagonist in it. And then in another game, like, it's the same, like, antagonistic character, except he's uh, friends with, a, with another protagonist and helps him out. Yeah. Like Eggman actually it does join Knuckles and they help each other. Yeah. Like in a Knuckles specific game. Knuckles Chaotix. Alright. Uh Yeah, the, okay. So that all four? But we still gotta get Samos. Yeah, so we gotta go up here now. Try jumping and spinning with the yellow eco. I forget if it scatters or that's just the second game. Oh. I think I think that's just the second game, but I'm not positive either. Oh no. And the Mario backflip would be great here. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Um, am I am I dead? I no. So difficult. Get on up. <sighs> okay. More, more spinning. This looks like a believable sequence of platforms that would exist. I'll try spinning. That's a neat trick. You know what? I will say that at least this section doesn't seem to be in any brush. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. There's not like a countdown timer before the citadel explodes. Yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> What was that? I don't know. Or are, are you talking about the sound? <laughs> Is what it sounded like on my end. I, th I think there's some children playing outside. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I see exactly how far behind I am. All right. Good done? work, Jack. You're still a shit, though, and I won't respect you. You're real heroes now. Oh, okay. I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Let me guess. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. We just oh, pull its insides right. out. <laughs> just. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball. Destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You two may save us, but I possess limitless dark ego. I will have a key to creation itself. <laughs> this is madness! Releasing that much dark ego would destroy everything we know. Oh. Just wait. I don't know, she's kind of hot. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two travel all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! 
Oh, I guess it's there were too late. Gotta fight a giant robot. I I love the fact that uh, that there's this giant robot that's supposed to be like the end of of like the world, and yet and yet this a kid and his and his little pet are going to punch it to death. I suppose you we're hear that, Jack? They called you a little pet. All right, this is gonna be a boss battle. I think this is like two, two, second of two. Oh, Gandarian! Come on! <laughs> Where Samos, but he's voiced by uh, Danny DeVito. Oh, there he is. Uh, oh, I see. I see what's going on. <laughs> Why is it so fast? And then the world ended. <laughs> Jack fucking died. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand. Jack! Jack, what are you doing? <laughs> it's. He's <laughs> trying to. If he could talk, he would say it's too fast, Daxter. I guess we use the power of eco. We don't necessarily just punch it to death. Dark eco well. Uh. Was that it? Was that enough to destroy it? No. Oh, it's opening. Don't fall in there, it's Black Eco, I think. Off. Is that dark green eco? What evil life energy? Oh, oh hello. We can't kill these things. It's werehogs. Oh, we can. We just need other eco. Oh wait! Oh, they can regenerate. soon as you jump. Yeah, you don't have to time it. I was like thinking, oh, this is gonna... So I guess I just avoid them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if that corresponds, maybe there are only nine of them. Well, we'll find out. Well, it was more than nine, but it was a finite number, I guess. <laughs> you suck at this. You fight like a cow. What? Oh. Okay. Jump in time. Oh, I worked. I, I didn't realize you were doing damage. Yeah. 
I mean, it was the only logical conclusion. <laughs> this, is, this boss battle is actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. The Crash games aren't known for difficult bosses. They seem to not, uh, Naughty Dog in general seems to not like absurdly difficult ones. I don't know. I like, I like it when a boss, I like it when a boss battle is difficult. Then again, I, I am a Dark Souls fan. How do you think this is? Oh, this shit. doesn't seem like final boss difficulty necessarily. No. Then again, I don't like puzzle bosses in general, because I like a boss I can just wallop on until it's down. Oh, well, don't play new Paper Mario game. You wouldn't like that. No, I... I, I... I guess that's just the pro wrestler in... Uh, pro wrestling fan in me. Uh-oh. Am I gonna make it? Yes, I made it. I like, uh, I like, uh, watching, like... Because pro wrestling is just two people just like beating the shit out of each other until one person gives up. I don't mind. I don't mind having uh, having to like strategize and figure out a boss's weakness, but uh, yeah, it no. shouldn't just be that. Like I just like, the puzzle. I like bosses that are difficult, but being able to be flexible to be beaten. Yeah. Like, no one. like dar that's what Dark Souls has. You either you can have strategies to beat them, but. Uh, it still comes down to your ability to beat them, your yeah. skill as a player. Yeah, blocking and dodging and tucking and rolling. I'm trying to think of a boss that was like absurdly difficult in, uh, in Dark Souls. Um, Get a load of this! Get a load of this! It wasn't Dark Souls, but spent a solid 45 minutes on that Egg Viper. Oh man, that most of it was just uh, was just the fact that 3D Sonic controls strangely. <laughs> Damn it! What's that? What's he supposed to be of doing right there? What are they supposed to be? I keep forgetting it's a t it's two of them. I guess they're trying to open it? But the dark eco well so that they can, I don't know, drink it in the robot? We drink the dark eco. What's dark eco supposed to be? Death energy? I don't know. Vague, uncontrollable, very powerful energy. I you just jump into it and <laughs> fucking die. <Yes. laughs> I'll jump over the gap. That's a neat trick. <laughs> 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 That's some cannon they have. That was difficult because of Jank. Was the the handheld crash games were the hardest of the series I learned. Because it because of the Jank. Uh, largely yes. Him not being able to fucking climb up ropes. Even even Donkey Kong was able to do that. The uh the sliding and jumping not quite being as fluid as the 3D games, which is very important movement for Crash. You know what? Sonic had some pretty good bosses, because most of the bosses was just you you can hit them multiple times and... Like and you the just, Man ones? Yeah. The 2D ones? They were more, uh, they were more puzzly in the 3D games, like figure out the weakness and the yeah. X over and over. Just jump. So he is no longer powered by Blue Eco. This landing is just the power of Jack's legs. Yes, which he didn't have well, no. before. What, well, if there's like a blue explosion, maybe there's residual Blue Eco. Yeah. Not high enough. Do you need to jump, or are you just hit me? Yeah, I have to jump. I guess I suppose it could aim, but I, I don't know if that'd be. Don't believe in yourself, Jack. Believe in the meat that believes in you. 
Th thanks for those uh, uh, at this time anime re uh, updated anime references in the far future of whatever the fuck. I'm surprised they still have anime. They all seem to live harmoniously with nature. It was it was the one guy selling it out of a truck who was dedicated to preserving it. He was preserving culture. Oh yeah, that's the guy. He takes so long to fucking charge it up. Stand still. I'm dead. Shut up. Stand in the place where you work. Wait. I guess I could just lo I could just long ju or high jump over them. Over the shots. Oh yeah. I'll bet it would be faster to uh, aim for the for the arm when he does the bombs. Yeah. You just have to do it in short bursts. Short controlled bursts. Like a fucking alien's firearm. Destroy All Humans remake came out. Supposedly pretty good. I'll have to get it uh, when I when I have steady income again. I've never played the original. I have. I liked it. Somebody said that the voice of the main of like the main character in that one was like reminiscent of Jack Nicholson. Oh yeah, the, the alien. Yeah. Or something like that. Uh, that. Jack Nicholson was the father in The Shining, and he was the Joker, right? No, he was. Yeah, he was the Joker. Uh, the, the OG Joker. Yeah. Short controlled bursts doesn't work in Enter the Gungeon, though. Enter the Gungeon, yeah, you just, the red. just fire. The red ones. Yeah, they're... Oh, shit. Oh, God! Fine, move! Ah, uh, a little too late. <laughs> that was that was a mess. I saw it appear right in front of your face, but then you stayed in first person for like a full second I, or two. I, 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 I forgot which button drops me out of it. <laughs> okay, this one. This section is is a I haven't found a foolproof way to I can't I I can't high jump. Not allowed to? No, there's too much of a wind up. I can't do it because there's too much of a wind up. Time is. Should I call for backup? Shut up! The world is doomed. This phase isn't even attack. He's just waiting for you to start the fight. Yeah. That's all Blue Eco is good for. Is a non-offensive laser beam. Not combat eco. I like that Jack has aerial movement. He has protagonist uh, aerial movement. So, theoretically, I could just dodge the yellow ones if I just stand still, and then when it fires, I just list lazily to the left. The right. You'd have to, I don't know how fast you'd have to move to avoid him. Oh, gosh. So green is the uh, Jorno e eco. <laughs> I will inject life force into this black eco and give it physical form. <laughs> oh man, we're still not done with that fight scene. That that the, uh, section, the one with Green Day. Yeah, well, Green Day's dead, but uh, but other, other one. Other guy, mold. Yeah. What the fuck's his name? Uh, Oasis. Dead. Yeah. Sanctuary in English. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Why is Nigel Thornberry? <laughs> The 
as the band comprised of two brothers who just spend all day shitting on each other on Twitter. Is is that the one? Yeah, it's a uh, Liam Gallagher and I forget the brother's name. Shitting on each other, so they're like they're in a blood feud. And it's ma mainly the one, like like well, mainly one of the brothers is always calling calling the other like a potato on Twitter, and the other just kind of ignores it because he's the brother's fucking crazy. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. You keep saying that, but you keep failing at it, God. Oh, Jesus. Camera almost killed me. One kid is taking down a giant robot. Oh shit. He's got eco power. After an incident on a flight to Australia in 1998 that apparently involved a scone, Liam Gallagher <laughs> was banned for life from Cathay Pacific Airlines. Scone? <laughs> he responded that he would rather walk anyway. Yeah, walk across the ocean. Let us know how that works out, uh, Mr. Gallagher. Alright, here's what I'll do. There, it worked! My strategy is foolproof. Resident Evil is getting a Netflix series. It's an animator live what is action. It? What isn't getting a Netflix series? Yeah. Ah, shit. I fucked up. Maybe rolling would be enough. Dodge it. Oh, I don't need to aim. I can just fire. Got him. Is that it? Is this guy dead yet? I would say the same about you, buddy. Wait, what are they doing? Are they forming white eco? Why not both? But do it quickly before I change my mind. Jack always just looks at him and is like, what the fuck? Alright, what am I supposed to do now? Alright. What you- <laughs> You jumped into the bomb again, damn. didn't you? God damn it. Jack! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I panicked. <laughs> well, it's fine. I got it. I got it down to routine. The red one might give me trouble, but. During Oasis's American tour in 1994, Liam frequently changed the words of his brother Noel's songs so that they were offensive to both Americans and to Noel. <laughs> Why does his brother just want to keep trolling him? Uh, well, apparently, there's multiple times mentioned in this article that uh, Liam is uh, trying to be super edgy and punk and offend people for, like, publicity. And his brother just doesn't want to have anything to do with it. I guess his brother is at the butt of that. That's a shame. Who is also a member of the band and is part of the reason that they will not get back together. Yeah, Liam Gallagher has tried to get the band back together after treating his brother like shit. And his brother doesn't want to do it? Pray tell, I wonder why. Sounds like he's, he's the asshole in this scenario. Yeah.
You're my wife. I guess, I guess he wasn't his wonder wall. After all. But bro, what do you mean you don't want to get back together? What? It didn't charge. Oh, he wasn't he wasn't dead a, after all. All right. You just won't give up. Oh no, I got to I got to watch this entire fucking cutscene again. Is there not a like start to skip or anything? No. Oh, okay, good. All right, so what am I supposed to do here? What does this game I want me to know. do? Well, avoid the bombs. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's light eco, I guess. Do something! I am now Super Jack. Oh, and that's that. I literally beat. Was he just snorkeling? Well, it looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. <laughs> you do have what it takes to be heroes. We just blew up but a Dexter, giant robot. Then we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira. Without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Donor. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. You're the new Dark Eco the Sages. Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Yeah, probably. Ah, That's a red herring. They never reappear. Come on, we can take them again, right, Jack? But as you said, they probably destroyed them. And it did. <laughs> what? They've had no fucking chemistry this entire time. Why are they going on a... <laughs> now save that for the next game when there's story and character development. Then you can kiss. <laughs> This game is literally the very end. They're like, "Hey, you, you are heroes now. Good job." Thanks, yeah. Philip TV. This is there is there is barely any plot to speak of here. No, I I don't. There's just nothing. It was it wasn't thin, much. It was thin as Orpheus. Osiris. No, there's an Orpheus in the credits too. <laughs> Doctor Orpheus. This machine is powered by Forsaken Eco? I wasn't using it. I like the gameplay. I I don't like... I don't much like the plot, because there's just nothing. I would have preferred bad plot, as opposed to just nothing, but I like the gameplay of this. Let's make GTA for tweens. I was setting aside the, like, cyberpunk setting. I'm glad that it became more story-focused. I think it benefited the series a lot after this. <laughs> and gameplay should always be the number one thing, but there wasn't... There was something here. There wasn't that much to work with. It would, it would need to have been expanded on pretty significantly. Yeah. Past this game. Yeah, it would have. It, sh it, it sh by all rights, should have, but... There is eco in the later games. It's just not the colors, necessarily. Yeah. Those don't really return. Except maybe in Lost Frontier. I don't know. I haven't played that one. So they died for good 
in the in this game. As far as we until they come back for Jack Five, they don't even reappear in the students of Rancho Canada Elementary School. What did they do? And then the secret ending is just less. I'm curious if there's any cutscene after this, after the credits or not. Daxter needs to be turned back, so they set out to find a cure and discover the plot to destroy the world. Yeah, that's that's literally that's what there is. Yeah, it's it's just Dax being snarky, the main character being silent, and then there's. I would have loved more lore. Yeah. I think that's that's my problem is that is that it's just like a lush island and then there's just no lore. It's just hey, there's four sages and we know nothing about them until the very end you realize, wait a minute, these sages actually have cool personalities. It was a very ambitious game. Like they seem to put all their time into just making the open world thing work. Yeah, which it does. Putting dialogue spoken dialogue for all of the NPCs in the game. Yeah, it like the parts that work do work. The parts that don't work, I just wish there was more of it. That's that's, it's a good game. Like, it's not. A, it, it is totally not a bad game. It's not even a mediocre game. If it was a mediocre, I would have dropped it. Like I did, trying to place that Spyro Enter the Dragon. What more does a hero quest need? Oh, well, a little bit of a more uh, consistent plot. Maybe the night the cool characters appear a little bit more. The plot of OG Mario. But the thing is that Mario had a had very wacky world design. If it's also kind of it's it's misleading because you have all the NPCs speaking and you have you interact with Kira and Samos between every world. So yeah, you're kind of set with the expectation that there's going to be narrative and and dialogue, and then you don't really get much of that. It's like if you if you do a JRPG. And you think, oh, there's going to be a lot of NPCs to interact with, and there's just no NPCs. It's just nothing but random encounters. It does leave you wanting, I guess, in the way that we're. That's not necessarily. Good. I keep hearing that about like stuff. It's like, yeah, it's great because it leaves you wanting more, and it's just like, no, that's not a good thing. If I'm going to uh, some a place and having a meal, and I and I finish the meal, and I'm still hungry afterwards, it wasn't an effective meal. I, I, that's just my personal take take on that though is that is that uh, if I if I'm approaching a game and I play it and I'm left wanting like more if I'm left unsatisfied after playing a game I it's just the story is the only thing that's really nothing wacky about this world I mean the eco was Okay, I don't think it was really... Colored mana isn't enough to carry the lore. It's not that interesting, in my opinion. I'm, I'm glad it went the direction it did and, and had the all the, the story-focused stuff. It became more character-driven in the second game and onward. Naruto, I really think uh, Naruto would have improved if Sakura did get uh, the, that sword and used her super strength more and just be, not it be like a one time gag thing. Yeah. I didn't mean it as a good thing. I wanted more. That's why I resent the direction they took with the series. I wanted more of this. This, except fleshed out. This, except more fleshed out. Like they go to like, uh, they go to like other like worlds. They use the portal network to go to like other countries or something, and yes, more eco-based yeah. puzzles. More I don't see as much potential oh, hey. in this game setup as Charles does. What could that be? Wow, it's an ancient precursor door. It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Yes. Oh boy, here we go again. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, if you get every single thing... What the fuck? ...the game, 
You yeah. get to see the door opening, and it's a it's a shining white light, and everyone's looking into it like, wow, and cut to credits. That's the 100% <laughs> end. Credits You don't again. see what's behind the door, you just see everyone else seeing it and being really amazed by it. It is such a cock tease. Yeah, no shit. Well, I think I think we're done. The, I guess it's... that's that. We finished Jack and Dax for three streams. It was like nine, ten hour playthrough. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was good. It was a short game, all things considered. Yeah. It would yeah. be longer if we hundred percent of it, obviously, but yeah. we, we don't we don't need to do that. We don't need to. No, thank you. I'm I'm good. I'm fine. Well, uh, I, th I think we'll probably wait for an upgrade before we do the other ones to make them run smoother. We'll see, though. There's games. There's other games we could play. Uh, there's, we got lots to play. Yeah, uh, solo and together. So uh, that's it for today. We will see you guys next time.